Hello, hello. How's it going? Good to see you all. Welcome, welcome. Now we got a new challenge today, folks. New challenge, and I'm pretty excited. Um, I don't quite know what inspired me, but this is definitely partly inspired by the last challenge we did, thanks to Street. I like the idea of a tax or a toll being paid. I liked it. And I had fun acquiring 10 frostbites, so... <laughs> let's let's do it. Let's make them make them uh, make them one. So here we go. We're doing the frostbitten. Establish a base in each region and equip it with some food, water, wood, and fire starting material. Base must be established before leaving the region. Before entering the chosen base, you must gain one frostbite affliction. Transition regions do not count. Winning condition: visit every region and establish a base in each. You can choose either Timberwolf or Muskeg to be exempt from Frostbite. Uh, that's because there's 11 regions. So it would be our dying, our dying move to establish the 11th base, but... You know, we could, we could maybe, maybe do that. Honestly, I was kind of up in the air with how this would work. I originally conceived it as an Outer Loper challenge. But then I thought maybe we need to just do a run through normal mode. You can get, you can get, you can get a lot of frost fights. Ten, ten is the max that I've gotten. The uh, ten frostbite equals a hundred health deduction. But if you have well fed, you can survive it. <laughs> so I'm excited, folks. But anyways, let's scroll up. Silty, welcome in. Quill, good to see you. Summer, welcome, summer. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, Radic, good to see you. Everyone, thanks for joining me. Serene, welcome in. And uh, yeah, let's do it, folks. Brand new run. I'm madly hydrating with some ginger beer and water. Let's do it. All right, who's ready? Unplanned? No. <laughs> I stream every single day. Uh, on Fridays, I start my stream usually between 2.30 and 3 p.m. because I work late every Friday. Late. Um, but yeah, no, I stream every day. I haven't missed a stream. Like, well, my channel's been live every day since March 22nd last year. I had a fill-in a couple times. I got a, a an acquaintance of mine. We're kind of frenemies, I guess you could say. He filled in for me. But other than that, we're here every single day. Yeah, it's ridiculous. <laughs> it makes no sense. New run. Yeah, brand new run and new challenge. So here, check this out in case you didn't um, didn't see already. That's the challenge, and uh, it's going to be interesting. I don't know how it's going to work, but we're going to go through it together and figure it out. New interloper. And I'm going to allow feats. I didn't say that, but let's do it. What's going to be a good feat for us? If this was warmth from teas, it would be so strong, straight to the heart, but no, it's it's useless to me. <laughs> I kind of like this. I've been using it a couple times. Fishing Machine Snowwalker. No, I think, um... Ah, oh, jeez. What about Blizzard Walker again? Fastrid. Do we need to be fast, though? No, we don't. Maybe I don't need this one. <laughs> oh, gosh. It's so hard. What do you guys think? Does exempt mean those regions you can stay in as long as you want? Uh, it means I don't have to pay the Frostbite tax. Basically, there's only... 10 frostbites I can acquire, so I have to pick one region to skip. Uh, so no frostbite, but I have to establish a base before I leave. But I can come and go freely once a base is established, so we just have to strategically figure that out. 
one stick on the floor. Um, no, I'm gonna have uh, enough fuel to like at least get one fire where we'll get like some water boiled. You know, it has to be it has to be like a spot where you show up there and it's like enough to get yourself through a day or two. You know, so not not a lot, <laughs> but enough. As we go on, the the bases will be more equipped. I promise. I promise you. Why is this so hard for me now? I used to just always pick the same feats. Hey, thanks for shouting out, Silty. Appreciate that. And some arc. Nice work. Less susceptible to the cold. Don't want it. Less calories is nice. Screw it. <laughs> Let's do it. Hey, Caleb. Good to see you. Cheers. Thanks for the hydrate. Alright, Captain Silty, getting the crew together. Here we go. Oh, I hear a waterfall. Oh gosh. I forgot about Hush River. <laughs> you know what? I think I meant to put Hush River as the exempt region, but whatever. We'll establish a base here. I just don't know where it's going to be. It'll probably be, um, one of the caves somewhere. <laughs> Definitely not this cave. <laughs> River. This is where it all started for me. The uh, frostbites. Really, the first time I ever messed with frostbite was in this region here. Ah, yeah, no complaints. Yeah. Honestly, though, I just like to separate from work once I'm done. I just Goddamn. end work, really? and then I go into not work mode. So, I typically don't talk about it, to be honest. Alright, let's look. Ooh, no frostbite yet. But our, our hands are susceptible. Our hands are in trouble. <laughs> our hands are in trouble. That's good though, because we got ten fingers. We got ten fingers. No, no need to apologize. No need to apologize. Hey, the entire crew made it. Nice work. G. Yeah, for me, it's important to have like a separation between work. Otherwise, you know, I'm self-employed, so I could I could literally just dwell on work in all my downtime, and that would drive me crazy. So I'm I'm conscious of that. And it's a good part about work-life balance that I think everyone, you know, needs to establish for themselves in their uh, in their life at some point. Otherwise, it just takes over, and I could be consumed, you know, mentally. Um, don't want to do that. What's up with those heists? Ah, uh, basically, they're just a fun mini game where you can spend some of the points you were in hanging out here. So as you hang out and chat, you passively collect fake points. Uh, two kinds, actually. One through Twitch, called Hacks Points, and one through my Streamlabs. Excuse me. I just had a quick snack, so I'm, I'm urban on you guys. Apologies. So one's through Streamlabs, and that's what the heists are all about. You just get these points, uh, use them to buy redeems or gamble or heists, basically, or hoard. All right, look at us. Look at us go. I think I know which base I'm gonna do. It's gonna be silly, but my base is gonna be a cave. <laughs> and, uh. 
That's gonna be sweet. You know, we'll drop a bit of stuff off, get a frostbite, no big deal. Wow, look at this day. Oh, it's morning, but gorgeous, gorgeous day here in Hush River. I love this region, and folks, it's nice. You'll get to see, uh, we got to see why it's such a strong spawn. Even though we're gonna come out of here with a frostbite. What's the next challenge? This, this one here? Um, anytime you're interested at any point on my channel, the challenge will always be exclamation point challenge, and you'll get it. Hey, hey Malik, good to see you. It's been a while, my friend. How you doing? Good to have you. Happy, uh, happy Friday. Yeah, we're just, uh, just trying to brand new run here, so anyone who's keen on the starts, this is a great one. We're in Hush River, so welcome, folks. Uh, great to have you all, and Malik, good to see you, my friend. Good to see you. Alright, we need a few sticks, so we'll do that. There you go. Yeah, Summer, it's Malik, you know? Good to see ya, and uh, yeah, hope you're well. Alright, sticks for a couple of fires here moving forward. But yeah, I just came up with this one. It's kind of loosely based on the challenge we just did, where we had to pay a toll. And I like the concept of the tax or the toll being paid to, you know, get uh, get something done. So that's the vibe. Sprained wrist doesn't matter. I guess we can check uh, where the signal fire is first, but either way, going into Sketchy's cave is probably to our benefit. Oh, there it is. Well, to Sketchy we go. I'm just gonna try to stay in the shelter here. Keep the torch if we can. If it's windy, windy. Doesn't matter. Yeah, no, I'm doing good. Um, I'm doing great, actually. Thanks for asking, and I hope you're well, too. We're just, uh, you know, getting into the long dark. I'm very into this game now. I've been playing it, you know, since I started on Twitch, but now I'm really playing it. <laughs> I've, uh, I've dabbled a bit in some other stuff, but... Just hitting my stride. <laughs> but yeah, no, we've been having a lot of fun. We just came off of a good challenge, uh, one of Street OGs. And like I said, the concept of that challenge really intrigued me, so I wanted to kind of roll with it into another challenge. And uh, this one's going to be ugly. It's not going to be pretty, folks. So if you like seeing characters in great shape, you're going to want to turn away right now, because this is going to be this is going to be bad. It's not going to be nice. All right, let's go visit Sketchy. Hey, Regans, good to see you. You started Milton. Hey, you know what? My first stalker run that I got off the ground, uh, it was like my 12th stalker run, but the first one where I survived for four days, uh, I spawned in Milton. <laughs> so I have a fondness to Milton for that one reason. There it is. Oh, look at this sneaky underground coal. That's uh, because we found the vein, you know, we're mining. Yeah, why not? If there's a wolf, we'll bring him down on us. As your cue sketchy. Hey, Ardana, good to see you. Afternoon, welcome. Happy Friday. I hope everyone's ready for the weekend and, uh, you know, have some, have some nice plans going on. Otherwise, I'm glad you made your way here and you're hanging out here. Whoa! Hello. Okay, uh, we'll drop the rabbit. Actually, no, you know what? What I'll. What I'll do is I'll pick it up, and when he de-aggers, I'll drop it and see if that actually works. 
see if he goes for it. <laughs> Not like this. Any curse? Oh yeah, yeah, there's one like where it was clipped. I came around a corner and there was a bear there and I dropped an F-bomb. And then I used to have a clip command where I, I missed the stairs during a bear attack. And uh, I cussed and I had to edit it. I had to edit the clip command. So the cuss wasn't in there. <laughs> but that was, uh, you know, back in the day before I kind of found my stride here on Twitch, you know. I let, I let one slip. I still do. I still do, folks. Um, it's like we're uh, PG-13. Once a season, we get we get an F-bomb. <laughs> but yeah, that, uh, that, that happened. Oops. Hey, Thomas, good to see you. Welcome. Yeah, say hi to Sketchy, too. <laughs> good to have you. But nice, uh, nice work checking out those old VODs. Like, there's some old, old, old ones there. We have challenges from like the very beginning. Also, just my first run where I spawned in and just tried to survive and learn learn all the maps. And we got to 250 days. It was a lot of fun. I don't like that I can hear a wolf in the cave though. I'm just doing the right hand rule, by the way, in case um, people haven't heard me talk about that. I just pretend I put my hand on the wall, and then as I move through the cave, it prevents me from getting lost. I'll be able to go to a dead, <clears throat> a dead end, work my way around, and then I won't cover the same territory twice. So, a pretty neat trick. So, you just use your imagination, but it's just something to think about going through these, these caves. They're quite similar to a maze, and that's a maze strat. Pro maze strat. Oh, what have we here? Thank you. I bet you this bedroll is in rough shape. 53, yeah, it's this bedroll, it's usually in 50 to 60% condition. And then the one in Bleak is usually in like 80% condition. The one at Allen's usually in good shape. It's kind of interesting. I don't know. I don't know what the deal is if they're sort of like set up that way or what. Oh, this thing scares me. I know he's coming, but he scares me so much. Sketchy. I hate you. <laughs> Leave me alone. I'm unarmed. Go, go into your, go into your wall. Leave me alone. I ran right into him. Maybe they fixed him. He didn't go into the wall. Oh, you know what happened? I got my arm caught on my my mic stand. <laughs> oh god. I gotta figure this this thing out better. Come on, give me a minute. I gotta see if I can. What doesn't hinder my my gameplay? All right, that's actually that might be better. All right. GG. GG. Yeah, that's a good old rip right there. Now we gotta go number two. Okay. Confirm. Oops. You didn't swear? <laughs> uh, okay, interloper. Dang, we got the good spawn too. But Sketchy sure did a number on me. Ooh. And even we got the first fire and everything. Alright, number 
too. Let's go. Sometimes they run away and turn around. Yeah, no, it was quick. Like, it was like, I scared her, and then she turned around immediately. So it's just like, it's one of those things. It happens to when the bear is like in his cave, he'll do that. So it might be the, the close uh, surroundings. Um, yeah, Wavy, uh, check my bio out. All that, all that information's in there. Yeah, I have a about me page that has a, you know, a couple of the frequently asked questions. All right, let's do it. I am legend. All right, good quote. Oh, where are we? Ash Canyon? Decent. Hey, Riggins, thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you for the cheer. Wow, this is a good spawn. I'm into it. All right, we're gonna go. We're gonna go straight. Oh, addicted. Thank you. Woot woot. Woot woot. Woot woot. Indeed. Thank you for the sub and the two months, two months streak. That's awesome. I appreciate the support. Uh oh. Can we get back up? <laughs> I think we made a wrong decision. There we go. That was like a bit of a fall. <laughs> I can't feel my feet. Oh, get, get, get me, get me, get me. There we go, there we go. Whoa, thank you for the cheer. I appreciate that too. And thank you for the, uh, thank you for the sub. And, uh, Summer, thanks for shouting out Addicted. I appreciate that. Playing some TLD, nice one. Yeah, that's some light parkour to start it off. I've never All right. Felt so cold in my life. I hear wolves. New run, yeah, new run, new challenge. So we're just getting started. We've died already once to Sketchy. <laughs> so this is our second attempt here. There's a container here that always has something in it. Maybe it's a piece of t-shirt or I've had matches, so it's worth checking. It's a pretty good loot drop. This will come in handy. No, it did not come in handy. All right, I love Ash Canyon as a spawn though, so I'm excited. What if we come out of here with a bear coat, you know? Yeah, this one should be fun, but it's going to be tough for sure. Nice. All right, let's try to grab a bit of food here. Maybe you can try to eat leather. <laughs> they won't let you. All right, we got our first risk of frostbite. Hello, double, 18%? Mm-hmm. So there might be some light strategy involved in this, but for the most part, I'm able to play it. Um, as we go, I think. We'll see. Like I said, I initially thought this up as an outer loper challenge, but I think it's gonna be nice to go through it, uh, normal mode first, just to see, just to see how that goes.
Yeah, and I don't know if I want to like already start thinking about exploiting the rules, but like there could be uh, options for that, like a, like stacking up some frostbites beforehand. But I'll try to stick it to the frostbite that we get is for the region. But things might happen. We might accidentally get some extra frostbites or something, you know? <laughs> we'll see. All right, let's get our billy goat on. Hey, Mr. Hunter, good to see ya. Yeah, we got a we got a nasty challenge going. <laughs> it's gonna be ugly. It it will not be pretty, folks. So, like I said, if you don't like uh, seeing these characters get beat up, probably time to time to look away. Hey, Riggins here, getting a high school in. Get in on team. You know he wants to. Whoa! So you have to get Frostbite in each region and then set up a base, yeah. Um, there's 11 regions, so one's exempt. I gotta choose between Timberwolf and the Muskeg to be like, I don't, I don't do a Frostbite in this region, but I have to set up a base. And the base isn't like, it's gonna be pretty pretty minimal like we're not having a full base like some people do here it's gonna be like uh you know a little food a little water maybe a couple matches uh that's about it <laughs> but again i'm just kind of working my way through this here for the first run and we'll see how it goes so the frostbite stacking yeah you uh you get one frostbite for every region so we'll have 10 by the end Ooh. And you can get 10. We've done it. We have done it before. You need well fed though to have 10 frostbites. Yeah, no, you can't. Uh, yeah. Oh, you're talking about risk. Yeah, no. Frostbite. Full on frostbite. <laughs> All right, folks. So that was the Billy Go bypass up to Homestead's respite. So, Hunter, you get an instant blackout tonight? Um, that was a lot of fun last week. I was trying to explain to chat like what the heck is going on, but I have no idea. <laughs> but it was pretty cool. You know, it was pretty late in the evening when that all went that down, and it was almost like a dream. But we gotta, we gotta talk to uh, a god, folks. It's pretty dang cool. But it was, it was a dev came into our game, and we gotta, we gotta chit chat. Of course, nice. I'm assuming Steve was probably gonna get in on it too. Very cool. He basically told us to talk to. Well, that's the thing. Like you gotta get, uh, you gotta get inner teeth out. <laughs> so hopefully that happens. But either way, that's fun. Okay, we got a couple of goodies. Okay, we need, uh, we need something for for our head. I think, because we can only get one on the hands at a time. So it's either we we sacrifice our our hand. Or our head. Yikes. I gotta decide. But I do have to cover something. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, Ardana, it's this game called Blackout Cub, and basically it's very, very confusing, but um, well, a couple times a week the devs actually, you know, play the role of these gods in, from the game and fly into your fly into your current mission and uh it's wild it's absolutely bananas it's, it's unlike anything i've ever seen i can barely even explain it honestly <laughs> blackout club yeah if you've heard of it then maybe you you know what i'm on about <laughs> oh you know what we need it's tinder too no we don't need tinder we got uh we got all that cat tail junk Are we gonna get like extra frostbite? Oh, there they are. Okay. Hope nobody needs this anymore. Yeah, we need it. Wow. <laughs> Let's see our ankles. I think I'm gonna just sleep a little bit and climb up that one rope. Yeah. See, the problem is, is we can't make. Can't make these without the sewing kit. We don't have that yet. Oh, 
All right, let's go ahead and I think I, I do need to cure up some of my frostbite a bit. Can't really, I can't flirt with two frostbites at once. Hey, hey, massive, good to see you again. Welcome. Yeah, um, we played some green hell. That was a lot of fun, actually. We went through and kind of messed around in, what do you call it, like survival mode. Um, so we tried that a bit. Not the permadeath, of course, but multiplayer survival. And then we went through the story twice. Because um, we got the we got the bad ending first, and I, I couldn't let that couldn't let that stand. We had to get the good one. But yeah, there's still uh, I think it's called something of the Amazon. I don't know, there's another DLC that I haven't played yet, so I'll I'll actually check that out. All right, let's just focus on healing up our frostbite a little. Like the one, I like, I like this, but we gotta get this one down, the head one. Yeah, but addicted, it was fun. I really liked it, and I talk about it a lot because I think the cooking mechanic in Green Hell was really well done. Uh, the fact that you can like add different elements to a pot of water for stew, and then you need multiple different nutrients to sort of function right. Really enjoyed it. Different flavor of survival. Uh, Wavy, you should hop on the Discord, because that's the place where you get to see all that stuff. Um, you know, with my gardening and my hiking and, and whatnot. Um, is this a challenging? It, it is. I think it's tough to get started in Green Hell. But like once you get established, it's it's not so bad. It's like getting good uh, equipment, and then setting up some like self-sustaining food sources and water catches and building a little base. Once you do that, it's pretty pretty sweet. Not not too much danger, to be honest. I think, but you know you could you can get poisoned. You can like get eaten by a leopard. Um, just folks can come out of nowhere and attack your village so there's all sorts of danger but i think uh the early game is the real hard part hey, hey mark warriors good to see ya where or how do you get a forge um there are three forge regions so there's a forge in boiler muskeg there's a forge in broken railroad and there's a forge in desolation point you got to go there with a hammer or find a hammer and bring it there or maybe there's one there but i don't know probably not <laughs> so you gotta find a hammer and take it there and get scrap metal uh you gotta get the forge throw wood in it until it's 70 celsius and then you put four coal in it to bring it up to 150 degrees celsius then you can start forging so you do have to get the forge up to heat first a little complicated but not too bad Where are hammers found? Uh, what difficulty are you on? Because honestly, I only know about interloper. Uh, I think at the other difficulties, you can find hammers at the forge, maybe even. Sweet Rivery, good to see you. Welcome. Green Hell, yeah, Green Hell is like pretty fast paced. Like you can spawn in and instantly be like in really deep doo doo. <laughs> yeah, like it's it's a different game, but it's a well done survival game, and it often does get mentioned alongside the Long Dark. Yeah. Are you an interview? Uh, like, am I being interviewed for a newspaper or something, Caleb? 
<laughs> I don't know. I don't have a favorite game. I play this one a lot, though, for sure. I feel like you're writing a newspaper story on me or something. Alright, we're gonna have a little bit of water to get going. And our frostbite's like somewhat, somewhat okay. Somewhat okay. Alright, we're gonna sleep now, and this will just get us enough energy to get up the rope. Hey, there's the challenge. Nice one, sweet river. Yeah, we're just getting into it. We died once. Oh, you picked it up. Nice. Yeah, well, let us know how it goes. Uh, like I said, I enjoyed it. I, I probably played... Jeez, uh, I don't know. Maybe 40 hours? 40 hours? So a mix of story and survival. But the story is really well done, so I'd say give the story a shot first it's um it's it's good it does ease you into the game in a way that makes it not as um intimidating but still throws you at the at the mercy of the jungle all right let's go drop the rope real quick we might have to we might have to warm up oh, I'm starving. what do you mean we got plenty of food I guess we could eat a couple cattails. Yeah, yeah. Okay, it's supposed to be warm right now, but it is not warm. But, there we go. Okay, we'll sleep another bit because now we're cold again. <laughs> Could do is just wait outside the next spot and get the frostbite. Enjoy your lurk, take care. Yeah, but if you're worrying about hammers uh, on Interloper, there's a guaranteed hammer in Hush River at the God, signal fire. Right Otherwise, uh, it can be pretty hard to find. Um, you're kind of all over the place and different different chances of them. Like Coastal Highway could have three different places. Um, you can get a couple hammers in different spots in the Timberwolf Mountain region. But again, this is all Interloper. I think the hammer might actually be at the Forage and Pilgrim and Voyager. Stalker, maybe not. I don't know though. I don't. I don't play those enough to know anything about them, to be honest. I know there's plenty of loot though in Stalker and under, so you're not as stressed out about finding stuff like the hammer. And two, you don't need the hammer because you can find knives and hatchets, and you can find arrows and arrowheads. So you, you're not as forced to get the hammer to forge on the lower regions. But say eventually, if you want to work your way up to interloper. It's fun to practice that stuff on, say, Stalker or Voyager and just get, get an idea of how it works. I was confused for risks in seven days to die. You have to make a forage. Yeah, no, there's uh, three, three forges in the game, so three different regions. And uh, the idea is you go there with a few things uh, prepared, like scrap metal, maybe some coal and fuel, and you got the hammer. Uh, probably a hacksaw, too. Oh, that way you can chop up cool. shelves. And then once you heat the forge to the right temp, you just uh, hammer away at some scrap metal into either a knife, a hatchet, or arrowheads. So pretty fun. But it's tough because uh, on Interloper, that's, that's the main objective first off, is to get, whoa, green skies? What does that mean? <laughs> the first objective is basically to get to the forge to craft your tools. We are a long ways. We're a long, long ways from a forge, folks. So we're gonna have to be happy with a flare gun for a little bit here. And that's not even coming until the next region. You remember finding the hammer pretty much every run on Pilgrim at the forge? Yeah, so I think, like, at 
um, some of the forges on the earlier, the, the lower settings, you do get the hammer, like it will show up at the forge itself. Whereas on Interloper, unless you're in Broken Railroad, the hammer won't spawn in the, in the forge region. So we're, um, we're going to Miner's Folly. The whole idea about that is, uh... Oh, snow shelter, nice. Uh, <laughs> beauty. Whoa, we're warm in here? What? It's awesome. It's a nice treat. Let's go to sleep for an hour. I'm sure this is a great idea. Oh, the weather actually calmed down. I'm wondering about the green sky. Like, what's the deal? What's that about? Uh... All right, good enough. I need to find food. We just need a little bit of warmth to get to the next spot. We'll go to Miner's Folly, there's two places there to loot. I've already thought about this, I think I'm going to put the base at Angler's. So that will be the... You know, one of the last stops. And then, uh, we'll be doing a... A rollless summit. <laughs> so I'm kind of excited. That's why this is such a cool start, is because there's the potential to come out of here with some of the best loot in the game, and then go straight into a summit. Ours is going to be a bit different, because sure will be the frostbitten one, but it's okay, we'll get there. We'll figure it out as we go. Uh, right now we're in uh, Ash Canyon, so it's uh, literally the furthest out there. We're the very corner, the northeast corner of the world. I can never see in here, so I'm lighting, lighting this. I want to get every coal we find. No coal, just slumber. Do I get fight home? We'll warm up soon. Oh man, okay, let's do it, Astrid. You're right, you're right. You're in Pilgrim? Nice. Well, massive, uh, honestly, you won't need to worry about the forge unless you want to practice for like the harder difficulties because when you're Come when on, you're in fire. the easier difficulty like pilgrim not the easier one but like pilgrim level uh you don't have to worry about that like i said you'll find a hatchet a knife arrowheads all that stuff is littered around the world so the whole um need to get to the forge and do the forge is not not Come there on, it only that only exists in interloper But that said, it is fun to experiment Perfect. with the forge and, and see how that works. Hey, we got a high school and Captain Ardonis getting the crew together. You know he wants to focus. Cheers, everyone. Thanks for joining me here. That's why you're on it. Nice. Yeah, no, Pilgrim's great, especially if you're into exploration. Uh, try to take advantage of the, um, you know, the extra loot and the nice weather and do some exploring, get to know the maps a bit. It's, uh, it's your best bet. We have enough cloth. I'll get more, but we'll have five cloth to make the snow shelter and everything, so it's gonna be sweet. Crampons too. Cue the blizzard. There no hips out here? Oh, there were. Nice. Hey, hey, Fenris. Good to see you. How you doing? Uh, oh, see, they're, they're kind of like half buried or something. I just didn't see them. That's my excuse. All right. 
Don't you uh, say anything. Hey, Aaron Ghost, good to see you. Raging Zombie. Yeah, it's going good. Putinu, welcome in. All you lovely folks. Good to see you. Sweet Reverie, I had some beautiful screenshots. Um, pretty sunrise at Mountaineer's Hut. Yeah, I got a huge, huge stack of screenshots. Hey, Oddbird, good to see you. Welcome in. Everyone, good to have you. Thanks for joining me. Got a lot of, uh, a lot of lovely folks here hanging out. And uh, we're just getting started. This is attempt number two. Yep, we failed once already. Sketchy ate us on the first try. Um, but it wasn't... Hey, cheers. Um, I kind of got a little overzealous and ran straight at Sketchy. I thought she was still de but she was not. Let's do this. Oh, we got the fog rolling in. That's definitely not scary at all. And now, which way did we come from? That way. I always get turned around in these little, um, little areas, valleys, canyons, whatever the heck. Oh, Astrid, don't miss the hips. This game is awesome. I love it. It's a great game. Um, I'm still finding new things to learn every day I play it, which is, is something that says a lot about the depth of this game, considering I've been playing it for, well, I've, I've got a lot of hours in it in a low amount of time, let's just say. <laughs> but yeah, welcome in. Good to see you. Yeah, uh, you should know um, the, the Grim from the Grim Gang. You may have uh, seen him when he followed the channel. That's my cat. He's uh, sitting right beside me. Nah, I just basically got out of the shower and I haven't like did my hair. Just look back. <laughs> I, maybe I should take time to do that because everyone comments on it like literally every day now. <laughs> I just uh, get out of the shower, I made my hair, slick it back, put the headphones on, go do it. But normally like when you'll see me tomorrow, I'm the day after that, so it's like much more light and it's a whole different look. Not something I really think about, to be honest. <laughs> Alright. Ooh, someone's rock collection. Okay, the bear could be around, but I don't hear him. Let's go to, uh, homesteaders first. I just always like going in here to check for the, uh, bullet ride. But Fenris, yeah, it's going. You just, no, it's fine, it's fine. It's a beautiful game. Yeah, like I said, um... It's hard to describe it, but it's like a it's like walking around in a painting and uh, paintings trying to kill you, but it's also very beautiful. <laughs> I don't know, especially the auroras. I'm always sitting looking at the sky, taking screenshots, and I have I have hundreds of photos. Just can't get enough. Oh, chips. Huh. What have we here? Lunch, dinner, breakfast. Yoink. Yoink. Nice, we got our pot. There's always a whetstone here. Ooh, but sometimes matches. Always a whetstone, sometimes matches. shoes there so I thought that was a guaranteed spawn to be honest 
I'm a little surprised. Alrighty. Hey, Tess, good to see you. Thanks for joining us. Lurkin, ah, uh -huh. well, enjoy your work. I hope it goes well and smooth. And uh, happy Friday, Tess. Uh, Hardwinder, good to see you. Welcome. How's it going? Uh, started in Ash, yeah, but this is round two, so we we died already. <laughs> we died in a Hush River spawn right at the get go to Sketchy the Wolf. You wake up in seven hours? Oh, what? Yeah, no worries. I know it's late for you, Fenris. You're you're always um, yeah, you're you're a few hours ahead of me. I know that. Damn, I'm freezing. Astrid, quiet. Astrid, I'm trying to hear this bear. I don't even see him. No. <laughs> Where is he? All right, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Dang. Astra's just chit-chatting and I can't tell where the bear is at. That was scary. I just still don't know where he is. It's half 11. I love that about um, your region of the world. People say the time like that. Like here we say it's like half past or we'll say it's 1130. But there it's say it's like, yeah, quarter 12, <laughs> half, half 11. I love it. Love it. Alright, what else do we got here? Sometimes there's a can opener in this region. Aha, uh -huh. spray paint? We don't want that. Oh, these smokes. I kinda wanna go out there though still, you know, we have this we have this torch. I just want to see what's in the, the across the way spot. It's so cold. Uh oh. I just want to lay down for a bit. Uh, crap! I think I'm in trouble. I think I've done I think I've done it now, folks. I think I'm in trouble. <laughs> He's kinda cute. Okay. That guy who drank his own pee doesn't seem so crazy right now. Thinking, Astrid. Oh, I've never been so hungry in my life. Oh, not like this. Yeah, not like this. did it <laughs> hey brad good to see you uh massive uh, thank you for the hydrate cheers brad great stream last night by the way plenty of action as always uh very good very good stuff <laughs> holy smokes Master, come on come on you know the drill Come on. No. Oh. oh, we failed. Failed. It's night time. Hey, Poot. All right, all right, all right, all right. I'll uh, I'll have some apricots. Let's do it. 
Why are these so hard to open? Like, they want me to like cut my hand on this sharp plastic every time. Gee whiz. Seriously, it's like a razor blade. Danger. All right, thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah, it's an apricot kind of day. What the heck is going on? Hey, Philadelphia, can we get an apricot Wait, container mod? <laughs> cold and warming up a bit. Wow, it's cold in here. Interesting. Um, nom 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 nom. Yeah, hey, Sphinx, good to see you. Welcome in. That was quite the adventure we had. My goodness. <laughs> You're gonna work as a guard at a sale. Oh, nice, generous. Sounds like a good gig. Oh, I hope that goes well. Stay safe, obviously. But uh, right on. Congrats. You're the hired muscle, eh? Hey, Matter Age, good to see ya. It wasn't the action I was looking for. <laughs> Yeah, it happens. I know when you're streaming and stuff like that happens, it's like, oof. But it's good content, Brad. That's uh, that's what puts people in the seats, all right? <laughs> but yeah, folks, um, Brad's streaming. So uh, test streams so far, but they're good quality and uh, the action's good. Brad just had an Ash spawn, got out, summit, no bedroll, survived a bear attack. Running around with no pants, not even worried. It's gonna be fine. 350 kilograms of yarn, what? Dang, that's a lot of yarn. That is a lot of yarn. Hey, hey, thanks for shouting out Matter Rage. They're playing some Long Dark, nice work. Appreciate that, Summer, thank you. Um, yeah, sorry, Wavy, you gotta click the hacks points. You gotta click the hacks points uh, to get the hydrate. We don't have a hydrate redeem like that. Don't kill him. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't miss. He doesn't mess with uh, yarn that much. He's like pretty chilled out, honestly. Uh, he's an older cat. Like he'll once in a while get playful, but yeah, he's he's all right. Hey, Philadad, thank you for the hydrate. Cheers. Oh crap! Hold on. I think I hear the bear. Cheers. Hey, hey Rob, good to see you, Rob. Thanks for coming by. Hope you're well, and I hope uh, hope all that uh, hard work you've been doing lately is gonna ease off, and you can get into some weekend shenanigans. Cheers. <sighs> but yeah, here through the great Brian, Rob's gonna revisit some. Uh, well, not revisit, but play some Resident Evil, Resident Evil Seven tonight. So very cool, Rob. Should be fun. Hey, thanks so much for showing showing Rob. Out. No worries, Fenris. <laughs> yeah, cat yarn joke. Why not? Okay, I think we're clear. I just thought I heard this bear right here. I've never felt so cold in my life. You're attacked by a bear a little, just a little bit? Not a lot of bit, but a, a little bit? Okay, well, I hope you recovered. Yeah, honestly, if you get in a bear attack, the worst part of it is the clothing that gets destroyed. Like if you get, say, an ear wrap ruined, or your crampons damaged, or if you've just made a bunch of rabbit and deer clothing, it gets trashed. So that sucks, but it happens. Uh, recovering health from a bear attack, if you have a herbal tea and six birch bark tea, and a ten then two hours sleep, you're gonna be you're gonna be laughing. No worries, but it's the destroyed clothing that hurts the most. It was perfect, yeah, no fitters. Um, you gotta click the hacks points, Wavy. Yeah, there is no hydrate redeem. Sorry, um, you gotta click the hacks points. No free hydrates. Man, I could eat anything. 
Okay, what do we got? What do we got? I hate how I have to do this every time. Here we go. No, there's no cooldown to it. You almost died twice. 10%? Oh gosh. Well, like I said, Meta Rage, if you have teas, they are very powerful. Like uh, a herbal tea and then stack birch bark teas. You can drink up to six and over 12 hours right just from the birch tea alone, you'll get back 30%. And then combine that with sleeping. And then you get a multiplier with the herbal tea. And then you could sleep in a special bed and get a second multiplier. You'll be at 2,000 health in no time. Yeah, Caleb, uh, there's a command. You can do uh, the store. You can go to the store and check out the redeems there. Or if you click the hacks button under the chat, that will open up all the uh, hacks point redeems. All right, we should actually uh, take a minute and eat eat something. We gotta get this well fed. Hey, hey, thanks for the hydrate. Cheers. And I'm still uh, I'm still snacking, Poot. I'm still snacking. Um, I don't think you can, my hire. I think you actually have to like eat some crackers. If you're, um, if you're fully hydrated, then I think you have to eat like a cracker or a granola bar first. I'm not 100% sure though. Can anyone in chat, uh, comment? Um, so you see how you've redeemed highlight my message? That's with hacks points. So right beside that is the hydrate redeem. So you found the hacks points, it's, it's there. Should be there at least. If it's inactive, that's uh, that's interesting. So he thinks we're we gonna get the bear coat or what? Bear coat kind of run. Safe equals boring. Let's just get into a bear fight. <laughs> Three more skills and they're at level four. Yeah, wrong spot. It, it did, like I said, it took me a hundred days to get my all skills to five and I was grinding. I would literally work with a singular focus until that skill was at five and then I moved the next one. Except I was mending always. I was always, always mending and certain fires and stuff. But when it was like time for rifle, I just did nothing but rifle. Yeah, no worries, my hire. I wish I had a better answer, but I'm pretty sure if you're full hydration, you can't drink a tea, and you'll need to you'll need to eat like a bit of a box of crackers or a part of a granola bar. You played more aggressive than normal. I don't want to be boring. I don't want to lose my pants each stream either. <laughs> it's about balance, honestly, Brad. I'd say do um, play your play your like own style, like whatever you would play on your own time, and. Uh, People will watch because you sound like you know what you're doing you know the game good source of knowledge in in different streams just play and just play a normal run maybe uh maybe some excitement happens some danger but don't don't feel like you need to put yourself at risk <laughs> to get into those situations yeah i uh i get into a few pickles here and there all right folks i think we got the bear coat i got a feeling Oh wait, didn't it get patched out? Oh! <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> we did it! We won! Oh my god, I can't believe it. We got the bear coat, it's at 74%. <laughs> GG. Wow. Someone literally came in the chat like three days ago and were like, they patched it out, I think. So, there you go folks, that was, that was official. An official, uh... Bear code on Interloper. No shenanigans. Hey, Summer, thank you for the cheer. Yeah, Cal, so there you go. Um, it exists, still exists. I've gotten it three times now, three times total. Wow. Wild. Hey, Sphinx, thank you for the cheer. Appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, folks.
don't drink that. Dang. Very warm. Wow. Yeah, uh, it's possible in Looper. Um, I thought it was a, a glitch or a mistake, but then I got it and I got it again and now I've got it three times over, I'd say, 22 different Ash Canyon spawns or loots. So it's rare. It's very rare. But it does exist. Pretty cool. Oh, Generation Zero? Yeah, I've seen a bit of that game. I watched uh, Accurize play it a bit. It's like a future survival game with uh, robots ripping around. The legend witnessed with our own eyes. Yeah, that air coat. Uh, rumors tell tale of a coat up in the hills. So warm that it's worth the danger required to get uh, grab it. Makes that zone even more powerful. Yeah, we're on day one. We're on day one here, folks. And we've got a bear coat. And we're gonna get crampons and a tech backpack too. Also a stim combat pants. Like, come on. Look at that. Dang. I hate smashing these, but I need the calories. Let's see what we got. Ooh, 15, not bad. Living the life, yeah, look at us. We're, we're looking pretty good here. Nice, plus eight already. And then we're gonna summit too. It's gonna be great. Let's not screw this up. Let's not. Yeah, dog food. Mm, delicious. I can't believe it. What a strong start. Air coat still exists. Nice, Kyle. Uh, I should probably clip that, or not clip it, but like make a command. Bear coat. Ash coat or something. So when people are like, there's no bear coat, I'll be like, oh yeah? Well, this was dated. Uh, what's the date today? May 28th, 2021. What do you say to this? But yeah, no, very cool. Thanks for the clip. And uh, that's the best condition I've seen uh, before. I usually see that thing. Oh, we went the wrong way. And it's usually in 50%. Wait, no, we didn't. This is it. It's usually in 50% condition. Wait, what? Where, what, where am I? Yeah, we just got... We went back and got the stim, at least. I meant to do that. And send that... Send it to Zach. Oh, is Zach, uh... Looking for a clip of a bear coat? Okay. I'll, uh, I'll ping him on the discords. It's ingrained to get the stimmy, yeah. I just, I, I actually always forget the stim because I get so excited about the bear coat or the possible bear coat that I just blast right past the stim. Not sure about this early bear coat spawn. Yeah, it's very strong, my hire. I thought that it was a glitch or unintended because of how powerful it is, but maybe not everyone is going to be able to get up the top of the hill and get it on day one. So who knows? But yeah, I thought it was a little, <laughs> it's a little strong. Like, we're gonna fly at it now. Oh, right, he might, he might, yeah, I definitely made the Pogchamp face, didn't I? 
I still don't have a hat or a mittens or a sewing kit, so we need one of those things so I can get more control over my frostbite. Uh, I'd like to be getting a frostbite here in a minute. ACs becoming a favorite spawn or Timberwolf? Yeah, um, we're gonna go into Timberwolf and we might not get the hacksaw, but I used to think it was a 1 in 4 chance of a hacksaw at the summit, but someone recently told me that it's 50-50. I don't know for sure, but if it's 50-50, then I'm willing to gamble and go there without the hacksaw and ho hope we get one at the summit. We'll build a snow shelter. It's going to be sweet. If the lantern's the fishing hut? Uh, I didn't get the lantern in the fishing hut. But yeah, I don't. I don't usually do do like that. I sometimes I remember, like for example, if I get the bedroll in Alan's cave, I know I'm gonna get one in um, Pleasant Valley. Stuff like that. Sometimes I know, but for the most part, I uh, don't really have track of all that. Hey, clear, you get to see ya. All right, yoink. Ah, uh, here we go. So now. We're set. Now we can control our frostbites. Hope nobody needs this anymore. This is awesome. You're on this one right now? That's how I know? Ah, I gotcha. No worries, no worries. Yeah, but like for me, there's some stuff I just remember. Like if I get the hacksaw in a certain spot in the muskeg, I know I know a couple things, but I try not to dwell too much on that because it does take some of the magic. We'll get a full night's sleep here, and then we're climbing down the rope. I need to heal up a bit. It'd be sweet if we had a tea or something, but we we haven't vis visited Birch Forest yet. Well, this stuff nice, hundred percent. Okay, just go look at this here. Wow, lots of lantern fuel. Let's go ahead and start a fire. But why? Why would we do that? Do we have enough torches? Yeah, we do. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's eat. I hate that we're smashing these, but they're half a kilo each. Yeah, the boots. Um, I love uh, I love the sound of the backpack too. But uh, that sound when Astrid walks on that thin ice, it's really good. Yeah, some of the audio in this game is amazing. They did a great job. All right, once we get to anglers, we'll uh, we'll acquire a frostbite. And we'll loot all that area for cattails. It's gonna be sweet. All right, let's heal. Yeah, no worries. Wavy, take care. Enjoy um, Generation Zero. Stay safe. Have a good one. Hey, thanks for lurking. I appreciate that. Sorry, I can't read the red. Let me let me zoom in. Earl, Earl Sack. Thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, for some reason, starving. me with uh, red on black, like reading the text red on black, just no bueno. Oh, middle of the night. Wow. Great, great timing. <laughs> I 
We got lots of matches at least. Oh. There we are. Let's put these uh, shoes back on. I was running around naked for some quarter moose. The sounds of Astrid very silent. I like that. Yeah, Ninja Astrid. When you're doing the naked meat mile. <laughs> yeah, that in early game, Thomas, when you're like uh, on a day one and you're just so lightweight, you only weigh like five kilos worth of inventory. You're so quick and your sprint bar has no reductions. That's amazing. That is truly the best. Uh oh, we got a bot. Got a bot. Careful. My goodness. Careful, folks. torch more than likely hot tub stream oh gosh hey the wind isn't that bad yeah no hot tub here I, uh, I live in a condo and I don't think that would fly sorry folks that's the reason why it's not happening all right yeah, I know. I know. Honestly, um, I just turned off. Like, I just stopped, uh... What do you, what do, you do? When, when you see one of the things pop on your recommendation, just say I'm not interested. And then they stop sending them to you. Easy. <laughs> so I don't see any of that stuff on my, my recommended list anymore, at least. Alright, so Stone Shelf Cave. We're gonna accrue some Frostbite Risk. And then we'll go... Uh, we'll go to Anglers and uh, set up our base for the region before leaving to Summit. So that's uh, that's my goal right now, is to get the Bedrollless Summit after the Ash Canyon spawn. Pretty cool beans. And I will probably use... I'll probably use the Mus- or the Forlorn Muskeg as a skip region. I don't know, I'll think about it. Because it's the forge region, it might just be a lot to worry about when I'm going there to forge, more than likely. Oh. Heck, oh, there's a deer. I was like, where's that feather coming from? I, need to find some place to escape this I always try to see if I can find the moose. <laughs> I don't want to get stomped. Alright, Astrid. Where's this? Oh, that's our hands. <laughs> it's happening. We're so getting frostbite. <laughs> our head is um, halted because we've got the scarf on, so I don't think our, our head frostbite's gonna go up, but our hand frostbite, it's climbing. Did you write this challenge? Yeah, Brad. Here, I'll just quickly speak on it. This one I came up with um, while I was working the other day, and it's loosely based on my experience trying to get 10 frostbites at the summit to see if it was possible and the pay the toll challenge. So we've got a frostbite tax that needs to be paid. Um, and honestly, I originally conceived this as an outer loper challenge, but then I thought that might be... Uh, oh, that might be a bit so hard. <laughs> so we're doing um, base mode now, and then if I want to mess with it more, I will. But for now, I think it's important that we just just see if this is even possible. But yeah, this one's uh, this one's me with the help of uh, Street because uh, that that pay the toll inspired this one. doing 
Oh, yeah. Think about the heck? Oh, the the moon's going over the horizon. I guess that's kind of neat. It's a nice touch. No moose. No moose to bother me. I'd love a can opener, but it looks like we're going to be smashing cans here pretty quick. Yeah, we did. Oh, once did I hear Deadpool made it 51? I saw, actually. Yeah, I don't know how it ended, but like all of mine, it just starts spiraling, and then your health bar starts slowly disappearing, and it's like, oh gosh, I'm almost dead. <laughs> Yeah. Do I, we did I it! Oh, okay, we got a frostbite. We did it. <laughs> GG. Alright, perfect, folks. So now we can enter... Like, this could be our base here. We could base here now. Let's do it. We're gonna drop off a little food. A little water. And uh, I'll drop... Let's see. A tea. And a bandage. Uh, a torch, and how about some matches? Oh. And some tinder, some reclaimed wood. There we go, that's a nice little pile of supplies. All right, that was fun. So here we go, base established. I was gonna do anglers, but it just seemed to work timing-wise here. The beginning. Oh, he got hooked by a bear? Oh, no. Yeah, because I noticed he had a pretty hearty health bar for quite a while. Yeah, bear. See, I got double Aurora Wolfed. So I was actually doing pretty solid. You know, I had, like, my uh, bear bedroll, wolf coats. I was, like, set. Not and then fire. Aurora Wolf. And then and the second Aurora Wolf. And it was... Well, we're still alive, actually. <laughs> but that's basically what took all my health. All right, Perfect. I'm excited, folks. This is happening. What? some uh, water and then we'll do birch bark. Of course, Buddy was just at the point of making a bear coat. Oh, did he did he have the bear bedroll or was he skipping that one? tea in us. Skipping the bedroll, interesting. Yeah, I was really debating it, but in the end, the bear bedroll is plus 12, and even when it's at 50% condition, it's still better than the cloth bedroll fully repaired. So it was just like a decision. Uh, it's tough to make, but that's that's my leaning, is in the pinch, the, the bear bedroll is warmer than the bear coat when you do need it. It's heavy and it sucks, but it's not that bad. It's pretty good. Alright, so we've healed our frostbite risk. 
uh, we will build some gloves when we can. So we can control the frostbite. That's saying a lot, because I love horses. Perfect weather for this, folks. This is absolutely phenomenal. Let's just get a couple more torches. So this is the first base, and it's pretty pretty weak, yeah? But it's got everything I need, alright? It's got matches. Plural, two matches, a torch, uh, some water, some sardines, a tea, a bandage. It's got some firewood. What else would you need? All right, we're going to uh, anglers now. Oh, yeah, emergency base. That's what we'll call it. It's a starter base for um, for a weary traveler who just needs a quick quick stop off point. One one little warm fire and uh, a bit of water to sip on. Risky, risky. It's funny, I left the food poison sardines and a rose hip tea, not a reishi, but I only have one reishi tea. So that's what fueled that decision. But yeah, that happened to me a lot, Cal. I was uh, trying to count guts and like how many guts do I need to do all the craft of clothes, and I kept on miscount, or I'd accidentally make some wine, and then I needed that gut for something. <laughs> I'm always terrible at that part. Inventory management, resource management's not easy, folks. Ah. These bears have no decency. I know, eh? Brutal. But yeah, Deadpool's kicking butt on Outer Looper. No one gets out alive. I think he's gonna take take me out <laughs> if I'm not careful. He just knows the game really well and he moves around with confidence and he knows how to live on the edge, literally. So uh, it's been fun watching him. We raided the channel yesterday and it was an exciting stream, for sure. Oh, I do have rock, good. Here we go, we're starving, folks. And we need uh, we need a full sleep because we're gonna come out of here. We're gonna come out of here and try to go do the summit, so we do need to be rested and we'll have to walk. And we're going to What's that spot called? Uh, pillar's foot rest for the exit to deer clearing. That way we'll miss the first rope. Yikes. Might as well drink this and not lose the condition, eh? Yeah, you saw me looking- I saw the cat walking around, he's just hanging out nearby. I just caught him out of the corner of my eye, it kind of spooked me. 
I'm on edge, all right? I'm a little on edge. I'm going to actually go do a bit more cattail collection. Oh. Yeah, that's right. Uh, cattails are very strong. They will actually deflect uh, arrows, probably even bullets, <laughs> torches, whatever. My cats do that, yeah. Did I say I hate being cold? Because I really do. So as we go, like this challenge is kind of laid out for us because of the spawn, but as we go it's going to get harder and harder and we're going to have less health to work with. Uh, we'll have to play kind of aggressive at the start and then really s steady as we go on. Alright, we've got enough food to last the night. <sighs> oh boy, here we go. Banged up. 41. I'll probably eat both of those tonight. And there are guaranteed matches in here. Sometimes you can get more than one. Uh, but there's a guaranteed box of matches and two arrowheads. So that's the spot with the guaranteed matches. And there's an extra one. And we're on... <laughs> we're on good match terms right now. We got plenty. Awesome. Let's go ahead and eat the dog food. Why not? Some cottager friends of mine would not lock where cottages would know in the window. Unlock for emergencies and mark box of supplies. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Like, if someone's in trouble, they're gonna break down the door anyways, and then you come back to not only your cabin trash, but probably like a door open, meaning wildlife have been coming and going. So yeah, that's that's kind of actually a rule, I think, here. Like, if you build a cabin on Crown Land, it's allowed, but it has to be unlocked. Um, so I don't know if that's, like, Canada-wide, or or if that's just, like, part of our rules here. I don't know, but I'm pretty sure I read that, because I used to- I was looking into that at one point. A buddy and I were um, scouting spots to put a cabin, and then it was like, all right, you got the truck, so you'll haul everything up island, and I was like, wait, 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 no, 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 <laughs> it's not happening. Right, sleepy time. Perfect. It's so secluded, people want to steal, they will. Exactly, like they'll just kick the door down and take what they need. <laughs> oh, Astrid, you poor thing. We don't have a sewing kit yet, do we? <laughs> All right, let's go. It's pretty common in wilderness areas. Yeah, it's probably like a, what do you call it? Like a, I don't know. <laughs> I'm at a loss for words. There's a, there's a, there's a way. It's like a, a thing that's common. <laughs> But there's a word for it. Help, help, chat. My tongue's tied. Okay, you know what? I hate I hate too, but we gotta actually hustle. That's so nice out. But we gotta go. We gotta go. It's like a code, thank you. Yes, yes. I was thinking like gentleman's agreement. No. Like ethics. No, like a code. A code of honor or a code of Bushman. Yeah, exactly. Thank you, Hunter. It smells of blizzard. Yep. Hey, penguin, good to see ya. 
Thank you for the sub. 16 months. What the heck? Sing 16 Candles. Uh, I don't know that one. I don't know that song, actually. I wish I could, but... Mm, darn. But thank you so much for the support. 16 months, 16 candles. <laughs> thank you, Penguin. I don't know what's going on, but for some reason the TTS isn't working on some subs. Like, like some people it works fine. Other people, no dice. Astrid's a long arm of the law. Laying it down. Oh, right, we're not supposed to run. We're walking. We gotta walk. Slow walk. But folks, if you just tuned in, we got a bear coat in Ash Canyon on day one. So we're living the dream. I'd much rather come back to find you went through my cabin than find your corpse on the porch. Yeah. Yeah. That or you come back to the cabin and the window's broken out of the front uh, front door and the door is now permanently open because they messed the lock up or something, you know? And wildlife have been coming, coming and going. That sucks. That'd be no fun. Bear coat? Yeah, Penguin, we got the bear coat. Uh, also, like, 15 boxes of matches. Well, it's an exaggeration, but it's a very strong start. We've got one frostbite, but no big deal. Yeah, there's that, there's that uh, clip there. Ultimate hog champ. All right, that was the stick that broke Astrid's back. Hey, Tuke, good to see ya. You. You're lurking with no sound. Hi, Tuke. Tuke. <laughs> I don't know if uh, Tuke can read lips, but that was my attempt. But check it out, Tuke. Look, we got a we got a bear coat. Pretty cool. <laughs> no worries, Tuke. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right, folks, we're unmoderated, so everyone, everyone be, be on your best behavior. Yeah, he got a bear coat. Thank you for translating. Hmm. You know, what we should also grab is all the birch teas that we can. And uh, I learned this from Brad. It's a great tip. If you don't have a bedroll and you got a long ways to go, no coffee either. Uh, birch teas will help you out. You can offset the exhaustion damage. With uh, right birch teas. Hmm. I think I'm gonna let this torch go out. I don't want to worry about it. Did I hear someone say unmoderated? Hey, Tom, how's it going? Good to see ya. Welcome. Yeah, um, Tuke's here, but they're uh, AFK, sort of, so. <laughs> how's it going, Tom? How's your, uh, how's your week been? Thank you for finding your way here to us. Appreciate that. All right, there we go. We're ready. We're ready to rock. So folks, that's the secret birch birch bark alley. You go up that way, and there's literally nothing up there but birch bark. It's ridiculous. Busy week, but good. You're lurking from the start. Aw, thank you. Um, I hope you folks know how much it means to me that uh, y'all give me these views every day. Uh, it's really helpful for the stream. I do appreciate it. So thank you, folks. Uh, even if you're not chatting, it means a lot to me if you're if you're hanging out here, uh, supporting the stream that way. So thank you. Thank you again. I like big birch and I cannot lie. Yeah, there are some mutant birch bark. I think everyone was flabbergasted the very first day Ash came out and they found their way over here and picked up the first mutant birch. And Angelan hasn't changed it. <laughs> like they, They've left them in there. You can still find the, the birch bark that's like as big as the bedroll. It's wild. Oh, I'm trying to auto walk the whole way so we don't forget and start sprinting you know what i think the weather is clearing actually i feel like we got a blue sky coming 
Hey, Zach, good to see ya. Payback's a birch, ain't it? <laughs> um, Zach, we found a bear coat. Ash Canyon spawn. It's pretty sweet. But how you going, Zach? Great to have you. Um, again, awesome work on, on that last uh, video, Zach. It was really fun. Everyone everyone who saw it had some great laughs. Well played. There, there's a clip for you, uh, Zach, if you want to see my pog, pog champ face. <laughs> it was funny because I was like, someone just said the bear coat was patched out. And then I was like, I think we're going to get it. <laughs> hey, thanks for shouting Zach out. Uh, folks, Zach streams on Twitch. He's taking a bit of a break right now. But definitely plug that name into YouTube. And uh, you'll find some great, great content. Uh, Zach's been putting out... Uh, interloper tips and tricks early game late game general general gameplay knowledge and also some funny content uh from different streamers on twitch funny moments in the game great great videos are well edited they're entertaining go check them out <laughs> no worries in case you're interested but uh yeah hope all's well zach great to have you we just got finished uh, with Ash Canyon. We're doing this new challenge. It's called the Frostbitten. So that's why you see that uh, red red dash there. But we've cleared our first region. And uh, we got 11 more to go. Oh, you know what we forgot? Is uh, we need to light another fire. Full torches. Alright, but cheers everyone. Thanks for joining us. Appreciate you. Yeah, and for anyone wondering, come on, little fire. This is uh, this is the the rules here. All right, I'm just gonna go AFK real quick while I'm here, but cam off, and I'm gonna just have a quick snack. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Olive just licked my phone. I think she likes me. Oh, <laughs> that's adorable. Quill, I uh, just got a puppy, folks. Uh, if you're not on the Discord, you probably want to go there now and check it out. Because puppies are adorable, like obviously. Survivor Cold, good to see you. Yeah, the the, the animals uh, section of the Discord has a couple picks.
All right. Thank you for waiting. Appreciate that. Let's get out of here. I, I keep forgetting that I do need to climb up a rope now, so let's try not to get exhausted messing around cooking teas. Tell that as long as you get a steady drip, you'll manage. Nice work. There you go. <laughs> Just a steady drip of uh, puppy pics, please, and we'll, we'll all survive. But welcome in, Survivor. Hope you're well. Good to see you. Okay, we're underweight, so I don't want to pick up too much more coal and junk. We basically need a fire for ooh, probably like eight hours once we make our snow shelter. Alright, let's go. Timber Wolf Mountain. Here we are. And perfect timing, might I add. I was hoping to get out here right about now, like evening, because we're at minus three, but it's because we got a bear coat on, folks. Hey, William, good to see ya. Yeah, bear coat. I I will not stop talking about this bear coat. Did someone say bear coat? <laughs> okay, I'll stop. I'm sorry. Just excited, okay? But hey, William, welcome. Good to have you. Yeah, we're doing a new challenge we just started. So I'm understanding the challenge. You first establish a base with stuff, then get frostbite. No, basically, um, like, before entering the, the chosen base, you gotta have a frostbite. I didn't quite know how to, how to describe it, but my intention is you need to have a base and a one frostbite in each region before you move on to the next one. So in this region, right before we got to Stone Shelf Cave, we hit a frostbite. We went to Stone Shelf and dropped off some supplies, so Ash Canyon is done, and we can move on. In this region, I'll probably get a Frostbite, and then go into Timberwolf Mountain Hut, establish the base, and then leave. Yeah, we're gonna get 10 Frostbites, folks. We're getting 10 Frostbites! <laughs> uh, yes, we're paying, uh, we're paying Frostbite tax in each region. We're paying a toll, the Frostbite. So it's gonna get interesting by the end when we're heading to like Broken Railroad or Bleak Inlet and we literally have 5 health or, or 15 health because of well fed. It's gonna be crazy. You can get 10 frostbites. Uh, I think it's exclamation point frostbite. I don't quite know the command. That's Rox's specialty. But there's a frostbite where we did a science stream where I tried to see if you could get 10 frostbite. And you can as long as you maintain well fed. So if you have well fed, you can get 10 frostbites and you'll have 5 health even though your entire health bar is red. And you're basically so wasted that like as soon as you stand up, Astrid's flying 10 feet like to the side, it's insane. Taking the shortcut. But I think, yeah, there it is. Thank you. That's the one. Brad's got it. Frostbite. So take a minute, folks. Here, have a have a we enjoy it together since this is the basis of the challenge. This is basically like this plus the pay the toll challenge. We currently have well fed and our health is at 5, 5 health, but we have a 100% health reduction. Yeah, so we currently have 10 frostbites. And just to, just to show you all, let's uh, go to the menu here. So we have 4 on our head and 6 on our hands. And that's our health bar. There's 0 health, but we do have 5% health. And we're trying to get down the mountain. We're coming down the mountain, whether we like it or not. I think we're going to just fling ourselves off at any point here. Oh, shoot! <laughs> oh, no! Okay. 
keep in mind that was in crouch too like we were crouched and astrid took off like that yeah silty <laughs> that was a science stream uh stalker shenanigans <laughs> so yeah we had we had we had some issues So there you go, that plus the last challenge we did is what inspired me to create this one. So we'll see. <sighs> that clip from earlier, ones is the same shirt on. Yeah. Um, and two, if you cheers, hey, thanks for lurking, Silty. If you cheers me, it's the same shirt. It's almost like I have a pretty limited wardrobe. It's like yesterday I was wearing the shirt and everyone was giving me a hard time and I was like, come on, it's laundry day, what am I gonna do? I literally have like nothing else. I'm already giving you my shirts that are like stained and like that I wouldn't go out of the house with. <laughs> They're like my pajama shirts. Very fashion forward. I think I have like maybe five to seven shirt rotation that I work with, so... Oh, I hope we have a mod in the house when I'm about to summit, because we should do a prediction for Hacksaw. Is there a Hacksaw at the summit, folks? Color-coded stream days. I'm definitely not that well thought out. Oh, my hire. I know they do. I know they do. But... Uh, it's fun to poke, you know, fun at people you love a little bit. I consider it like a, you know, it's a show of endearment. Other people like to poke fun to hurt, and I know that's not the case here. But yeah, I just gotta, I just gotta keep going. You know why we need to shed. I'm just trying to do that so maybe I fly up the rope a bit quicker. Hey, hey Bloom, good to see you. Welcome. Uh, and welcome in my gurney. Good to see you. Tom's kind of north of the trailer with the workbench. Mountain Yeah, yeah, yeah. On the edge, I see birds circling. Yeah, I can never get there, Mike. I tried. Honestly, uh, here, I think this is what happened, Mike. They used to have a different setup in Milton, and they re re reworked it. Like maybe before you could go over there and then they like put a put a wall or something. But yeah, I noticed that. I noticed that. Hey, survivor, holy smokes. What? Thank you for the cheer. Aw, uh, no, I know, I know it, folks. You don't have to tell me twice. <laughs> but thank you so much, Survivor. That's amazing. I appreciate the support. And Stomp, welcome in. How you doing today, Stomp? Thanks for shouting Stomp for out. Stomp plays some long dark folks. And uh they're lovely. You should you should definitely check them out. Tried climbing. Yeah, in my era, I'm like, I, just, I messed around there for a while, like wondering if there was a long path that I didn't know about where I had to like circle back and forth to get there, or I tried goading it, just couldn't figure it out. Uh, there's a spot in Bleak Inlet where you can get a corpse, <clears throat> and the corpse is underneath the rock, and you can't even access it, uh, but it's under the rocks, so who knows. There's a rope anchor up there still. You just can't. Yeah, okay, so Zach knows what I'm talking about. It's like an out of bounds area that might be a remnant from a previous iteration of Mountain Town. Uh, what do you think? Do you think we could get up the summit rope? Nah, we'll have to build a. We'll have to build a shelter. Hmm. 50% crampons. Oof, I'm so tempted to try. Good old masochist. Yeah, you know it. You know it. We're back. It's her style. Early Maglens. I guess some Maglens is gonna be there for me no matter what. But. Knowing that I have that mag lens is kind of nice. I can eat a horse. It's saying a lot. If get you close, you can map the anchor, so even the icon appears. Boom the booms. Did it not long ago. Okay, so 
it's been investigated a bit. That's kind of neat. That's the beauty about this community, folks, is you got you got people who are just interested in trying to figure the game out. Yeah, so Mike, uh, you're not alone. You're not alone in your quest. Uh, last run, I got none. But this one, we've got one so far. Yeah, in the last attempt at this, we died almost immediately to Sketchy. And uh, we didn't even get out of the spawn region. So now we're onto our second region here. And we're about to summit. No bed roll. Pretty excited. Yeah, we have plenty of cattails to get through the night. Perfect. Oh! Wait a second. Did we just go through the wrong... We did! Oh, Astrid! How embarrassing. What happened to right hand rule? <laughs> I guess we got excited. And, uh... Wow. We must, uh... Must have got turned around. Alright, try that again. I think it happened last time I went through here. I missed the crouch. Going through the crouch. That sounds interesting. Has someone reached out of bounds? Yeah, good question. Brad, I know you're into uh, a bit of exploration. Might be worth uh, putting your your head on. I think uh, stuff like that, like it's like when that corpse is in bleak and like some of it is just inaccessible and you can't really, you can't really even help it. You know what I mean? But if there is a way we need to know about. Yeah, see, we missed this turn. We went all the way around. Oops. I'm not worried about wasted matches. We have so many. So many matches. And as our bases get better, uh, we'll be leaving more and more. Okay, uh, Survivor Cool, do you know the Milton Pond uh, by the trailer? And there's a moose there. Behind that moose are, are corpse crows. Uh, they're like, if you're looking at the pond, there's like this rock wall behind where the moose will be and the rabbit spawn. Uh, that area there, there's like birds just floating around in the air. It's very strange. So that's what we're talking about is that spot in Milton. I guess it's like the upper Milton Pond area, just near Hush River. Have to check it out. Can't remember if it was Kimmy or Guntek, but someone was able to- Really? Well, there you go. So there is a billy goat, a billy goat route. Cool. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, the torch is going out. All right, the good part about this is we do have a nice, uh, nice spot to shelter. I don't know if this even has a name. It's just a nook, but it's windproof, I'm pretty sure. And we can put a snow shelter in there. So uh, the real question is, do we get the frostbite right now? I think I might. I think I might grab a frostbite real quick here. Then we can either establish the summit as the base, uh, the cave at the summit, or we could save it for Mountaineer Set. But either way, we'll get the frostbite out of the way, so we're open to uh, deciding on the base. Oh, when they change Winter Mood into Redux, good point. Alright, here we go. So much health. I just gotta figure out where this thing goes first. Is it got you freezing?
I swear I've done this before. Are pretty mysterious sometimes, yeah. I gotta find that pixel. <clears throat> I, uh, I think so, Brad. I think that's been done. I don't know who's done it, but I've heard tales. Crazy? Is this not a spot? Oh, there we go. I saw it. Okay, right there. Can I get it from this way? Embers, and I clicked the button. <laughs> it had burned a match. That's why I'm. That's why I'm Jesus, upset. This is cold. I know. I. I'm. I've been good lately. Kimmy said he didn't make it. I think it might have been gun tech then, but again, I didn't see it. It still said embers afterwards. Yeah, it must have. Um, I must have moved away from the hitbox or something while hitting M1. That was exciting. Okay, we're not gonna catch the frostbite. Got seven hours. Yeah, let's risk it. 27%. Three hundred calories and we're smashing twenty-four percent. So they built Jurassic Park, they found a mosquito in Juan's Ember. <laughs> Juan's Ember. Oh gosh. <laughs> it's, it's not your best work. <laughs> it's not your best work, Zach. Uh, I'm just gonna boil water while we're doing this. Why not? We don't need to heal, so... The best goat though is PT's goat down into the ravine. Yeah, when I saw that, I was like mind blown because I thought everyone else was trying to go always where the rope drop, but I did it for the first time and it was intuitive and it was easy. Uh, but I'll say this, um, another streamer tried it and they went down a little too early and it was an insta death wall there. Also, you gotta be careful. Um, instead of hitting the rocks at the start, he hit the snow and it was boom, done. Game over, 75 days. No GG. Oh, 
how big is the mine near Pleasant Valley? Uh, the one called Cinder Hill Coal Mine is one of the biggest mines in the game. Uh, typically, you'll leave there with like 40 coal. Like, there's a lot of coal. There's a workbench. Uh, there's there's a lot going on there. Yeah, and it connects to Coastal Highway. Remember, remember the fifth of one Zember, the gunpowder season and shot. I see no reason why the one's powder season shall never be forgotten. <laughs> you saw that ember, and you just had to. You had to. He said, "There's something here." <laughs> GG. I appreciate it. The second attempt, much better. Much better. Let's go for another hour. It's a blizzard. <laughs> one one Zember? It sounds sorry, when I say it, it sounds like one's member. Which I don't like. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta, I gotta say it really slow and make sure I articulate. Otherwise, uh, yeah. Okay, hopefully we get some good food up there. It sounds like the weather just, just broke. Beautiful. Take our, our shelter back just so we get some sticks and cloth. Well fed! Yes! Oh, you know what? That just ate our. our uh, frostbite, it looks like. Oh, whoops. We meant to do a birch tea in this one, but. oh well. Looks like a new day is dawning. Give me something I can be proud of here. I know the feeling I just had the other day. AC spawn, summit, had to sleep, bed roll. Where's you? I still never built a snow shelter. Really? I guess um for me this is a good time to use it. Is to try uh, to get to the summit without the hacksaw or coffee. Uh, so me. The other option would have been to leave this region, right? And get a bedroll. But I gotta pay the toll, so I felt like it was a good option for me to try to push. By the way, we got our we got our cramp pumps on. So yeah, we're gonna get up here, so I'm gonna get all the top tier loot, maybe no hacksaw, and maybe we have to come back. But maybe there's a hacksaw and we we have a glorious victory. You've never needed one. I used to make a snow shelter at fishing camp by the workbench, early loper, and then I wouldn't have to worry about cabin fever when I made my bow and arrows and like rabbit mitts and my first jacket. <clears throat> like it wasn't a very, honestly it wasn't a very good play, but for me it, it was a nice spot to have a kind of cabin free craft station. That was pretty warm, especially early game. But otherwise, uh, another time I've, e I've needed them is when I had my bedroll destroyed. I wolf attack. Hey Mel, good to see ya. Welcome in. Yeah, new challenge. And uh, so far so good. We've uh, cleared Ash Canyon and now we're at our summit. We're at our summit. So folks, what do you think? We getting the hacksaw? <laughs> I hope so. If we don't get a hacksaw, we gotta we gotta limp down the mountain to Mountaineer's Hut to the bed. Uh, but before we go in, we'll have to get our frostbite, because there's really, other than like Forest Cave or Echo Ravine Cave, there's not a whole lot of baseable spots. Very serious. Oh yeah, I'm dead serious, Mel. <laughs> no, this one's fun. Um, I think I'll enjoy it. It's a bit silly. You know, we're gonna have 10 frostbites at the end, but I think it's gonna be neat. Don't take a tumble at the summit. Hope we don't, yeah. I uh, I like the summit going down the back 
and to the right really quick. It seems to be safe for me. I've seen people go left or straight down. Okay. It's gonna be a while. But if we do get in, we can use the T's and stuff to uh, accrue frostbite risk while staying warm. Alright, come on, hacksaw. Come on, hacksaw. Let's have a cattail just to calm our nerves. Uh oh. I don't see it. No hacksaw. No. Alright, you guys know the drill. Guess the fire striker. It's okay, it's okay. It's not ideal, but. That's what we're working with here. This is so cold. I just want to lay down for a bit. I love the sound of the crampons. It's so funny. All right, let's get a fire and uh, break down that crate. Perfect. You know what, let's uh, let's get these. Yeah, Fire Striker. Check the back crates for, what, a hacksaw? I break this crate up always. Sorry, I don't know, I don't know if I understand. Hey, Kentucky, good to see you. Welcome in. Thank you for the follow. Six minutes. Let's get another one going. It wasn't there. Yeah. Rip. Oh, you found one there. Really? So there is a 50% chance then for the Axel at the summit if there's two spawns. Two? What? <laughs> no way. Oh, Sphinx! Gift and a sub, their 12th of the channel, and it went to William. Congrats, William. Enjoy that. And uh, big thanks to uh, Sphinx. Gia Sphinx, thank you. Appreciate it. Dusty soup. Mm -hmm. But thank you again, and appreciate you, uh, Sphinx. Appreciate that. Oof. Okay, let's crack this open. Might as well get some water. We're uh, doing this for matches. All right. Sorry if I already even asked what will be most challenging, cold management. Um, I think <clears throat> as the challenge progresses, getting around the world with low health, with like basically no health, will be the toughest part. Okay, folks, here we go. The last, last guess. But yeah, I think uh, Mel, there's probably gonna be some struggle organizing Frostbite, but we'll be fine. Okay, the last guess we have is two. Two. All right, good luck, folks. This will come in handy. Oh, 73. Okay. So, uh, I don't think we have a mod in the house, so I'll have to, I'll have to do this. 78. It's pretty close. 69. Uh, that's four. Oh, frick. I need help. I think 78 or 69. One of those ones. Help. Oh, Stomp guess 69.2? Oh no! Um, what do you think? What do you think, folks? Is it 73? Oh, 73 is high school, 18. 69 wins. Okay, so Stomp and... Cal... No. Stomp and... See, this is why I hired mods. Stomp and Cal. Okay, GG. Nice work, team. Thank you, son. I 
Nice. Nice work. GG. <clears throat> Alright, well, it's kind of sad. We can't, uh, we can't loot the crates. But we do have two stims. We have a flare gun. We have some stuff that's pretty good. I don't know, it's not that bad. Still trying to figure out how to... There we go, that's better. All right, we're out of here and we need a frostbite. What is this? <laughs> yeah, super valuable, those channel points. Okay. I guess... We might get the hacksaw in the hut. That's an option. See you soon. Massive. <laughs> no worries, so far. I understand, I understand. Why do we have nine rocks? It's a bit much. Hey, Hunter, good to see you. Yeah, no coffee for us. Oof. Yeah. <laughs> I'm kind of bummed. Like I can't I can't get into any of these crates. Whatever. Whatever, we'll be fine. Axel won't be in the hut because the lantern's not in the fishing hut. Oh, come on, you don't gotta spoil it for me though. Because I don't know that. I thought, I thought we talked about this. I don't, I don't like knowing. <laughs> These are good serps. I'm gonna eat one right now. 92%? Yeah, no, 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 I try to forget though because I don't, I, I want to, I want to be innocent, you know, I, I don't want to know these things. It's forbidden knowledge. It's forbidden knowledge. You still have the crampons on, you can hear them clacking around. Alright, it looks like the weather's about to turn nasty. I don't know, what if there was a chance to spawn a hacksaw like inside one of the wood crates? That'd be neat. But I don't think that's the case, honestly. Oh yeah, don't run. Well... We could always just hang out in the fishing hut collecting frostbite, drinking tea. Either way, we got the flare gun, we got the fire striker, we got matches. Uh, the food would have been nice. The clothing, ah, we'll get the we'll get the plane crash. Get that in no time. But dang, by the time we're ready to forge, we're gonna have a lot of frostbite. Oh, Astrid, sorry, no fires. We're actually uh, looking forward to freezing. Uh, just walk there outside. It's just coal in this cave. Like, why don't we do that? That's a good way to get this frostbite risk. Just walk there. <laughs> this is a bit of a dangerous walk because there's wolves, there's a bear, but we don't have wind. Where do you get the frostbite? 
<laughs> we currently don't have gl gloves on, so we're getting frostbite in our hands. Yeah, our fingers, we're losing each finger uh, to frostbite for this challenge. I could do is actually make teas, warm them at the fires, but stand away from the fires, and then just drink teas while I get cold. So I think like we can we can we can figure this out. Lucy fingers, no fingers equals death. <laughs> no way, we'll be fine. We'll figure it out. Hey Zaki, good to see you. Welcome. Are we having a good Friday? And again, everyone, thanks for joining me today. Oh, we have a bear code. He's scared of me. That's awesome. <laughs> that's just a sight. Sight to behold. Yeah, that's right. If you're just tuning in, we got a bear code in Ash Canyon. Absolutely wild. Alright, I gotta do some billy goating. Two billy goats, I believe. Uh, we're doing our out outdoor time. Oh, there's a rope right there. Gosh. The bear cave. Can we even go this way? Well, I guess we'll find out. Yikes. Oh, we got a flare gun though. We need to hide to repair this coat, won't we? No, let's not. I should save the ammo. It's actually an anagram of my family name. Oh, nice. It's cool. Clever. Instead of fighting the bear, let's collect cattails peacefully here on the river. Bear really should be killed. <laughs> That's the bear that got gotcha. I often. Oh, there he is. I often don't see him. But I don't usually go this way. Usually I go through the cave system. Oh, nature. Alright, screw it. Let's just go this way wide of him. Five head. You can use flare shells to light up torches? Ah, uh, you can't. You can't, unfortunately. You can't. That'd be neat if you could, but yeah, no, unfortunately not. Oh yeah, this is coming on strong, this frostbite. Oof. Easy. Easy frostbite incoming. A massive. Um, well, we got to the summit and there was no hacksaw, so we got the fire striker, some matches, the flare gun, and that was it. So we had to build a snow shelter, climb up to the summit, and all that. But now we're down, we're heading to Mountaineer Hut, and we're halfway to our frostbite wrist that we're trying to get turned into a frostbite. I haven't made an arrow, but we found two arrowheads at Angler's. Angler's Den in Ash Canyon always has two arrowheads in the chest, so kind of strange. Hey, Rox, good to see ya. Yeah, new challenge. It's a doozy. And uh, so far, so good. So far, so good. <coughs> Welcome in. How you doing? I hope you had a good work day. First day back from vacation. Oof. 
destroy rocks, but I hope it went smooth. You're welcome, Emperor. Zaki, rocks, uh, 299. All you lovely folks, thanks for joining us. How long did the flare shell last? Well, it seems to burn. Yeah, you're about right, Stomp, for about oh, a minute. So cold. Um, sometimes it's on the animal and the animal's running around. Other times, not a minute, sorry, like an in-game hour. Other times it's just on the ground. All right, we're fine. I'm gonna actually be just just fine here, getting a frostbite by the time I'm done looting the lake, I think. And then we'll enter our base. And then we're going on to Pleasant. Yeehaw. We're in Timberwolf Mountain right now. So we spawned an Ash Canyon. We set up a base in Stone Shelf. And now we're trying to acquire our second Frostbite. And we'll set up a base in Mountaineer's Hut. And it's actually already got all the stuff that we need for base, basically, except for water and some food. I guess we should conserve those, shouldn't we? But as far as starts go, Rox, check this out. We got a bear coat. I think I'm gonna skip the muskeg because right now we're we're ready. Like we've got the frostbite risk. Uh, and the muskeg, I'll be worried about forging. So I wanna just have my mind on forging. I don't wanna think about, you know, getting a frostbite. <laughs> And then two, I'll have Pleasant Valley, Mystery Lake, and then the Forge. We also don't have a hacksaw yet. So by the time we're coming out of Mystery Lake into the Forge region, I need a cured maple and guts. Like, I need them. <laughs> so we gotta get that going. And then in the Muskeg, we can get our bow and set ourselves up. Hey, it must have gone through to Hinterland. Yeah, yeah. There's rumors floating around rocks that the bear coat was removed in the last patch. So there we go. Rumors, rumors, uh, denied, I guess. You could say. <gasps> Nature! Nature's happening. No, I'm. Leave me alone. Wow, they're still going. That's silly. Let's just put the... Let's just put that in the back burner for now. Uh, yeah. Okay, let's go... Fishing hut and get our frostbite in there. He's mad I stole his dinner. I'll have a birch tea too. Oh, hammer time. Nice. Oh, frozen solid. It's not. I thought a desert style sequel. Something searching for food and water in an oasis. Need protection from the sun. Yeah. I don't know, that could be interesting. Uh, I'm trying to think, are there any other games out there like that? I watched Rob pay a really, really early access beta of a game that had uh, desert vibes. Oh, we could have got Insta, Insta struggled. <laughs> Whiffed it. That was funny. Nature. Nature's happening. <laughs> I was thinking like, you know, the, uh, what do you call it? Like, come on, help me out. The, the thing. Like, uh, come on, it's Friday, folks. My, my, my body's tired. My brain is exhausted. Circle of life. Thank you. Yes. Kuna Matata. <laughs> It means no worries. That's right, you got it. Exactly. It's 
the circle of life. National Geographic's happening right before my eyes. All right, it's happening. And we're gonna get that before hypothermia, thank you very much. Hey, Admir, good to see you. Welcome. How's it going? We just had a fresh start here, Ash Canyon. Do I, if I and we just got back. Frostbite number two. All right, now we can enter our base. So the toll has been paid to enter uh, Mountaineer's Hut. And we'll set up a base there, and then we're gone. We will try to cook that deer. The problem is... Uh, it's windy and it's outside and uh, I'm actually without a hacksaw so if it freezes it's over I can't get to it next good disguise is gonna be Elton John what do you mean disguise what are you talking about disguises I have no idea what you're on about most Disney songs yeah I would sing but um, my vocal coach says I'm, I'm not ready for live performances yet not ready for live performance Hey, look at that. We found one. All right, so we got matches, we got wood, we got some water. How about some food? Some food, some real good food. A healing tea. That's mine, yoink. Uh, how about a book? Yeah, we'll leave a book for us to read. Oh, let me put it there. Oh, nice. Tinder, of course, we gotta drop Tinder. That will help us start the fire and uh, torch as well. All right, we got food, we got water, we got fire starting materials, we got some medicine. Let's drop a bandage too, why not? Look at this. Nice space, I say. Nobody needs this anymore. Ragged. So we have a hammer, no hacksaw. Oh. Nine, one, eleven, seventy seven. Nine four twenty six seventy seven. Obviously, then. All right. Feels like five degrees. We got some hypothermia, frostbite. Let's uh, warm up quick and try to get a bit of meat from that deer. Uh, the base we need a bit of food, water, uh, matches or fire starter, tinder. Unless we get, um, you know, fire start three, uh, fuel. So just like enough to get like a little, uh, a little respite. Not like a base base, but it's it's a it's a like a waypoint. So this is our base here. We got a little food, some matches, some water, a book, bandage, a tea, just like uh, the minimal basics, you know. As we move on, though, through the world, we're going to get uh, better and better. Uh, 
better and better bases established. We need a gather sign. <laughs> Fifty cattails, though, so we don't even need this deer. I did see... oh, there we go. Yeah, I'm in a windbreak right here. Oh! I just got the one stake out of him. And now he's frozen. You know, I could technically put... a fire here, it says. Where was that spot? Right here is apparently fireproof. Dang. Well, you know what? One stake? That's good. We have a redeem wavy uh, situation report. Sit rep, so you can uh, blast that redeem, and it will uh, it will make force me to stop my gameplay and get into uh, explanation of what the heck's going on. But yeah, I don't know when he left, so I can't tell you. But we've summited, we've established two bases now. Uh, I don't know what day run, day three or something, day four, day three. So yeah, we're doing we're doing okay. We're getting it, we're getting it going. We're wasting matches like crazy. But I got plenty of matches. Yeah, Emperor, honestly, okay, the, the real talk here is this was originally going to be an Outer Loper challenge where you get one base per region that you have to unlock Come with on, Frostbite. Man. So that might be the next run I do that. I might try that one. Uh, but for now, I want to just proof of concept this thing and make sure it's playable in its standard form. And then we'll throw Outer Looper or Modified Outer Looper into the mix. If it does get nice out, maybe I'll go back. But for now, a good kilo of meat. Let's look at this. We got some cattails here. We're laughing. So we're free to go now to Pleasant Valley, and I'll probably do that uh, as soon as this weather breaks. Hey, hey, too. Good to see you. Welcome back. If sound, I was on the phone catching up. Oh, nice. That's lovely. Good to hear it. Yeah, I, uh, I needed a mod for a minute, but I managed on my own. Believe it or not, I still remember how to add points. Uh, but we were we were gonna do a prediction. No, it's fine. <laughs> and the prediction would have failed anyways because we didn't get the hacksaw. Uh, but if you didn't see Took, I was trying to show you. We got a bear code. We got a bear code in Ash Canyon. It's at 73%. Absolutely amazing. 20 out of 10. Phenomenal. I low-key want to make mittens, but I also don't. <laughs> Alright, say goodbye.
onwards and upwards. Uh, no space, um, bay, no space. But yeah, uh, we're doing a new challenge we just started. It's called the Frostbitten. It's still in the game. Yeah, there's a uh, there's a clip. Uh, Cal took a clip of it. Pogchamp face and everything. But there you go. That's the challenge, the Frostbitten. So, so far we've got two Frostbites. Uh, we paid tolls in Ash Canyon and Timberwolf. We've established two bases. And now we're on to Pleasant Valley. I'm going to get into Prepper's Cache, loot the plane crash, and then I'll, uh, I'll probably pick a base at that point, maybe the farmhouse or the barn, somewhere like that. Hey, welcome back, Silty. How's it going? Do you know the demand, uh, the command to delete a command? Wow. That's some next level, next level stuff there. I'll leave you to it. It's a little bit, uh, a little bit above my pay grade. <laughs> I'm like, wow, I'm so warm. Yeah, we're warm. We have a bear coat on. <laughs> Remove command. There you go. So yeah, again, this challenge was inspired by the last one we did that uh, stream made, Pay the Toll. And then also the science stream where I was messing around with Frostbite, so it's a culmination of a couple things. Hopefully we uh, enjoy it, folks. Remove. You're trying to lead. Ah, you ordered Italian. Nice. And uh, Dara's going to pick it up on her way home. Blackberry pie? Dang. Well, even if there's no special occasion, sounds amazing. That's awesome, Silty. Enjoy. Sounds like a good dinner in the works for sure. There you go. Oh, nice highlight. Now the next highlight will be that clip for the bear coat, obviously. <laughs> there you go, that one. Boom. Wow, Rox, you're kicking butt and modding. Jeez, and you said you said it wasn't needed. <laughs> but thank you again, I appreciate it. And honestly, you don't have to feel obligated to do all that nonsense. Just really generous of you. Cheers. The mods are gaining power. Pretty soon I'll be so hard up, I'll be like, where are the mods at? I need I need moderation eaten a special occasion for me yeah <laughs> I'm a big fan of meals um, usually I, I like don't really do meals until dinner like my my daytime feeding routine is pretty sad but dinner time I always make a good meal and uh, take the time hey Duke good to see you welcome good evening yeah I like to have a good dinner and uh, take the time as like a ritual you know and a nice, nice time in the kitchen, chopping veggies, doing prep work. It's awesome. Edit command. Oh, nice work editing commands. I have no idea what's going on, but it's very exciting. Aw, hugs. <laughs> Thank you, Massive. <laughs> so far, I know. You know, another thought I had for this challenge is before you enter any building in each region, you have to pick the first one and pay the toll on it. But either way, it is what it is. And we'll try it. Excuse me. And we'll see how we do. Juan just sees stuff happening and is impressed. Yeah, it's like, whoa, people are pushing buttons. I didn't even ask for it. Figuring out commands. I didn't know all that stuff existed, honestly. So I'm impressed, yeah. It's not like I've ever looked into it, but I'm impressed. Hey, fish, good to see you. Welcome. How's it going? How are you enjoying your downtime? Must be almost over, though. Thanks for shouting, fish. Fish is playing some seven days to die. Nice. How are you liking that one, fishman? Are you newer to seven days? Or did you pick it up a while back? Ah, oh, back to work tomorrow. Rip. Trying to think here. Maybe I'd get a fire real quick. 
just to pull the torch. Too windy. Come on. torches you're loving it you have been playing it for a while nice so you're building a base up getting some stuff happening it's awesome that's why he did it oh he did eight hours of it nice work there you go you must like it gg all right let's store our crampons on and we're gonna go down Now are you doing that multiplayer fish, or are you just uh, soloing it? Alright, I might actually put Astrid to sleep for a night. I kind of wanted just to go straight... Well, we could. Let's go straight to the, uh, to the plane crash. Oh, it looks like this is a blizzard. This is a solo? Nice. Hey, Lily, good to see ya. Ah, uh, Silthy sit rep. Okay, we're on day three. We spawned in Ash Canyon, we went to the mine and got the crampons and the backpack, and on the way we found a bear coat. So we have a bear coat on day three. We had it on day zero. So early bear coat, amazing. Uh, then we got to the summit in Timberwolf and unfortunately no hacksaw. So we did a sad summit with no hacksaw. And uh... That was sad, but <laughs> it's all good. So we paid the toll in Ash and Timberwolf now, and we're on to Pleasant Valley. Where we're hoping to get awesome loot at the plane crash. Yeah, we're going. Nice one, Duke. There's that highlight. Oh, right, fish. I guess that makes sense, yeah, because if you're sharing a server and people are, like, waiting to play, it's like, ah, come on, server host, get out there. I hear ya. Mmm, second pot. Why I want to go exhausted? Why don't we just wait till tomorrow? Ah, I want to go though. <laughs> ah, ah, I can't decide. It's because we're low on food, but we're actually not low on food. We got plenty. Let's loot this room and then we'll see how we feel. But I think we probably should sleep. Nice tea, love it. That will help. Tea's good. FM will be my freebie. Yeah, we paid the toll in Timberwolf, so that means we'll just have, uh, you know, nothing to worry about other than foraging once we get to Timberwolf, or Pleasant, no, Third Trans Charm. Once we get to Forlorn Muskeg, we won't have to worry about anything but foraging and crafting our bow, so hopefully we get a hacksaw here soon and we can get, uh, get the forge in our sights. Alright, we got enough matches, let's just sleep. There you go. Might host a few servers when you retire. That's awesome. Oh, you're you're really digging Ark. Well, Silty is a big fan of Ark too. There you go. Yeah, Silty's playing some Ark right now. Fish is a big fan. You played uh, Ark like way back though, didn't you, Fishman? I remember you talking about that when we first started chatting. All right, we're doing the full ten, full ten hour. Nice, Rock Shot and Silty at last playing. Guessed it. Ark. Sweet. All right, first things first, if we have sunlight. I could eat anything right now. 
let's try to get a bit of sewing done. Because this is sad. Our underwear is melting off our body. Like, I don't care about these sweaters. We're going to upgrade them. But stuff like the, uh, the combat pants, the underwear, you know, wool sweater, that stuff we'll actually keep. And we should keep it in good shape. How much cloth do we have? Nine. It's eh, not bad. You have almost 1.8k hours logged. Nice work. So you can pick either Timberwolf or F FM to be exempt. So with one of those, you don't. Yeah. So no, it, it, we're not exempt from the base, but the base is honestly not that big a deal. The the big deal is the frostbite. So we're exempt in the muskeg, because we've already paid the frostbite toll in Timberwolf. So yeah, the muskeg, we got a freebie. In reality, what I should have done is either Hush River or the muskeg, I think, but I kind of forgot about Hush River, while I'm being honest. I kind of want to see 10 frostbite Astro try to take on T-Wolves. Well, you know, knowing me, with the way this path is going, we will be, <laughs> we will be doing that. <laughs> We will be doing that. Let's get some cloth. Hey, Violacious, good to see you. Welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're having a lovely Friday evening. Good to have you, Violacious. Thanks for shouting Violacious out. They uh, did a bit of streaming, played some Long Dark. It's really fun. Also, that other cute game you played was adorable. Just got home from work? Nice. Now, I don't want to ask, but do you have a weekend now, or do you, do you work this weekend? I just asked. I said I didn't want to ask, but I did anyways. <laughs> Cat Quest, thank you for reminding me. I knew it was cats, and I knew they were questing, but I couldn't remember the name. <laughs> but that was adorable. We'll use up this whole sewing kit. I don't even care. You have tomorrow off? Nice! Oh, that's lovely. I hope you got uh, either plans or you're gonna rest and recover, relax, enjoy some downtime. But I uh, appreciate you coming by. Oh, you have Cat Quest 2. Oh, there you go. Maybe, uh, maybe you'll be checking that one out at some point. Alright, let's check weather, and at this point, I think I'm keen to leave. You're glad the day is over. Aww, yeah. Well, it was your first day back from vacation, so obviously that's gonna be a it's gonna be a brood awakening. I hope you didn't have to put out any fires, um, so to speak. I, I really don't mind these frost fights. Hey, Helga, good to see you. Welcome in. Thank you for the raid. Uh, Helga, I heard you were playing some spooky games tonight. I hope it went well. And welcome in, raiders. Thanks for shouting Helga out, playing some Outlast. Yeah, definitely a spooky game. Yikes, I don't know how you can do that. You're brave. You're braver than I. But welcome in, Helga. I hope you're well. I don't even have to ask. I know you're cool. Violacious, you trying to throw a rock at a rabbit it was one of my all-time favorite moments. <laughs> oh, I'm rad. I recently watched um, another streamer take on TLD for the first time, Masika, and my goodness, it was it was it was an ordeal trying to get that rabbit. I think a lot of people have that same experience, where they get the rabbit finally, and it's this moment of glory. But then they they try to get up to it, and. Uh, you know, they have a rock in their hand, and instead of clicking the rabbit, they throw the stone, and then the rabbit runs off, and they're like, What? <laughs> Why did that happen to me? Yeah, pretty fun. Or new player who is breaking up every box in the plane crash, slowly freezing to death. Hey, Nicolaj, good to see ya, and Frosty. Good to see ya, welcome. It was horrible. I was playing the DLC, and I'm done with Outlast. Oh no. So, <laughs> yikes. Well, at least you know um, that you're done with it. That's good closure. Sounds like good closure took place. 
But yeah, me personally, that game, I looked at it and I was like, this looks a little, uh, a little much. But you're brave, like I said, and thank you, Frosty and Nicolaj. Appreciate you coming out. Helga did great. Of course she did. Yeah, Helga's awesome. Your workplace is still schmoldering. Uh, you'll clean the embers up tomorrow. Oh, goodness. Yikes. Isn't that the case, though? You, uh, you go on vacation, and when you come back, it's like, oh, thank god you're back. We really missed you. <laughs> well... Well, you're supposed to be able to function without me so I can enjoy my vacation in peace, you know? Isn't that the deal? You haven't played in so long. Yeah, it's, uh, it's tough coming back to a game. It doesn't matter what game after you've sat away from it for a while. With TLD, um, it will, it will come back quick. You will, you'll pick it up. Alright, second underwear, combat pants, wool toque, let's go. I also don't have mittens. I'm just putting it out there, what I want, you know? My wish list. Ear wrap? Oh yeah, we're definitely not wearing that. Oh, wink. They can't survive without me, it seems. Oh. <laughs> Is it Nicolaj or Nikolai? Good question. Nikolai, even though I'm honest to a fault. It is Nikolai. Well, thank you, too, for clarifying. Yeah, I'm notorious, Nikolai, for butchering names. Like, even if it's the most obvious of names, I'm gonna butcher it. So, um, welcome to the club. Welcome to the club, buddy. <laughs> Yeah, Tuke's, Tuke's a smart cookie. Thank you for, uh, thank you for helping with that stuff. Where's my soda pot? There we go. No feathers. Underwear. Oh. Well, I'll take it. I did ask for two wool toques, didn't I? This is gonna be the craziest RNG. Because we got the bear coat on day one. You know the RNG is gonna be off the hook. And here I am, <laughs> acquiring frostbites. Ugh. It's too funny. Ah. Well, we have our mittens, but we're not wearing them. I'll take it. I want to, uh, I want to prep for the next frostbite. It's actually awesome, because we're warm. The frostbites won't come on as quick. Or, the frostbites will come on quick, but the, the damage to hypothermia won't. Hey, man without hair, welcome in. Good to see ya. Disclaimer, this nice. Stuff will come in handy. Nah. Whoa, those are ragged. No thank you. Sorry, I'm missing chat now, definitely. <laughs> but thank you, uh, Stomp, for taking care of Wavy. Juan's barb got Thomas' name wrong. He said one hour. Ah. <laughs> well, I think I did that too, Violacious. I'm pretty sure I didn't get it first try. So uh, that's okay. Where's the plane? Uh, so if you enter this map, you'll be on like the south part of the map. The plane is in the north, like the north north, underneath Prepper's Cache, basically. Prepper's Cache is, is where the rope. The Timberwolf Mountain is, and that's where, you know, that's kind of in that direction. It's pretty close. Hey, Nikolai, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Grim Gang. Welcome in. Enjoy your stay. Yeah, no, I think rocks caught me. There you go. We got maples, but we don't have a hacksaw. Frostbite incoming.
Names are hard. Yeah, that's my cat Grim. He's the he's the mascot. That's why we're the Grim Gang. There he is. Yeah, he's a tux tuxedo, short hair, gorgeous cat. He's a good boy. Wow, it feels like five degrees. Let's go. I'm glad I downloaded Twitch. Yeah, Caleb, uh, Twitch is awesome. I didn't really know what the heck Twitch was, but what I what I was doing was I was going on YouTube, and on YouTube I found, um, you know, videos about this game, and I was using these videos to help me learn the game. And then I was watching someone's VODs from Twitch, and I was like, what the heck? There's emotes flying around, there's redeems being had. Uh, chat's really active and the streamer's like talking to people and I was like, what the heck? So I logged on and I went out there and sure enough, like people were chatting at me. The streamer was talking to me when I had questions. They were answering them and I was like, dang, this is really neato. And I just thought it was like people playing video games. You know, I didn't really, I didn't really comprehend. But yeah, no, Twitch is awesome. Uh, it takes some getting used to. But feel free to ask us questions, we'll help you out. There's a few like you know, you things to know, but other than that, just have a good time, be respectful, and you'll fit right in. Okay, we're going for Harrison, because I want to upgrade my... Well, why should I actually? We'll get a better one at the barn, won't we? We're going to loot this for food, then. That's why we're here. Food and feathers. I like it when streamers say my name the first time. <laughs> Tess Tickle? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> awesome. Awesome, Tess. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I called you Testicle until chat was like, can you not please once? I don't want to hear that anymore. It's like, whoa. <laughs> All right, it's Tess now. But yeah, GG. One of the, one of the best usernames on Twitch, Tess. Uh, honest, honest opinion. Please. Lily, thank you for the hydrate. Cheers. There's a clip. All you have to do is do X. There it is. Yeah, that that's the clip. It just appeared. Magic. And it's Wanzard the wizard. Yeah, Wanzard the wizard. And again, we're kind of we're kind of in a tiff right now. We're having a row. Uh, but you never know. We might see Wanzard again at some point. You never know. Maybe we can patch this things up. Coming handy. Very good. Those are perfect for me. Actually, let's have a minute. Holy inventory management. Wow. I don't really need cloth, but here we are. I think I should just drop some of the stuff. This makes a bit more sense, considering we already have plenty. Good thing you didn't say, how's it hanging? <laughs> Just seems that guy has a sense of humor. <laughs> you miss him? Favorite snack? Well, I always always have apricots or pistachios on stream right now, currently. Back in the day, I was going with uh, mango, dried mango, and then I went to dried figs, uh, always with some nuts on the side as well. Uh, when is Wanzer coming back? I don't know. I gotta patch things. Like, we kind of left on a bad note. Last time he was here, he uh, kind of ticked me off did some stuff that was really questionable and shady and uh you know could potentially have stained my completely flawless spotless reputation so i don't know we gotta we gotta hash it out you know figure figure out how to move forward but yeah we're not quite there yet not quite there yet all right let's leave basement let's go check on uh the toolkit 
this is a good spot to find uh, usually quality or simple tools. So I already have I already have simple tools, but I'd love a quality. Otherwise, I think they're guaranteed at the farmhouse, and then maybe again you can find them at here they are. You can find them at uh, the barn too. Tools everywhere in this region. Flow wands. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what about newspaper man? Yeah, newspaper man's uh, part of the MCU. <laughs> in in a theater near you, momentarily. No, no, seriously though, there is talks about uh, like a reboot or a reimagining of the, the Newspaper Man saga. But I just don't know if people are ready for it yet. Man, could you imagine getting that phone call from someone you haven't talked to in 20 years? Hey, remember that movie we made where you dressed up in spandex and put like badminton rackets down your pants? Yeah, people loved it. We just, we gotta get it together and make part two, okay? Please. I have fake internet points to pay you with. <laughs> Alright, well, we'll think about it. Alright, maybe, maybe I'll pitch it. Maybe I'll pitch it. Alright, I'm gonna push straight on to farmhouse and get a frostbite. Like, we're, we're warm and we're getting frostbite. It's awesome. Newspaper man takes on digital media. <laughs> the spread of misinformation has plagued the globe. Oh god, it could write itself, honestly. It could write itself. <laughs> Anyways. Anyways. Oh gosh, not like this. I'm scared of wolves, though. I just had a windbreak, didn't I? I don't want to die here today, folks. I need to find food. All right, the torch is staying lit. I thought it was windy enough. I feel at a certain point they changed it, so like. There's a few grades of wind, and this lower grade of wind won't won't put your torch out. It's gonna soon, but right now we're fine apparently. Fifty six. Okay, we're gonna have to hang outside for a little bit, and we're gonna base at Pleasant Valley Farmhouse. It'd be funny if he was a regular and just hadn't said so. I doubt it. Honestly, I've told a few of my like IRL friends that I'm on Twitch, and like a few of them like like were early here when I first started, but it's pretty rare. <laughs> it's pretty rare. Um, but folks, yeah, you can always you can always say hi if you know me. It won't be weird at all. I promise I'll be cool. I'll be cool. But no, I think. Uh, there's gotta, there's gotta be like a few people that know me who are part of the community, but they just aren't regulars. Or there are, and I'm being coy about it. You never know. I kind of want the backstory to that potted plant that got smashed in the second movie. <laughs> I'm sure, knowing me, I probably just took my mom's potted plant that had like expired for the season and destroyed it without asking. Hey, Rob Sax, thank you for hanging. Lurking in the shadows, I appreciate that, Rob. Have a great evening. Take care. Hey, hey, thanks for uh, shutting Rob out. Rob's playing some Resident Evil. Uh, he played through Resident Evil 8, The Village, and is now working backwards through at least the next game. But very cool. Thank you for shutting Rob out and enjoy Rob. Yeah, Tess, it's Rob. Yeah, Rob's cool, folks. Um, if you don't know Rob already, go click through the link. Uh, he's got high energy. He's got a great community. He wears hats. He dances. Uh, he sings, he plays the saxophone. It's wild, like seriously, if you want to be entertained, go to Rob's channel and uh, and take a take it in. Take it all in. You won't be disappointed. Seriously, he's got 
he's got the real deal happening. It's entertainer. True. Hey, fish. Yeah, hopefully, uh... Actually, no, I know you know Rob. I know Rob was really, really appreciative of you hanging out when he was doing a charity stream. I remember he mentioned that fish that you had uh, showed up there and hung out like all day and he thought that was that was freaking awesome. So fish, pat yourself on the back. Vouching for this Rob fellow. You can uh, you can vouch. Anyone else can vouch for Rob here? <laughs> Anyone? Yeah, no, I think a few of us know that Rob's Rob's the real deal. Yeah, I got into gardening landscaping to atone for that smashed pot. Exactly. Oh, we're gonna wait. We're at 69 frostbite risk. I won't be able to open this guy up because he's frozen, right? Darn it. We could just start a fire to save our torch and then hang out and drink teas when we get cold. Sounds fun. This will be our base building, so we do need to acquire a frostbite before going in. Rob, you're sweet. You're sweet. I'm uh, I'm being honest here, Rob. You're you're the real deal, and I'm thankful to have found you. I don't know how we got connected, like where where it happened, but I gotta I gotta give thanks to whoever pointed me in your direction. Perfect. Alright, stay away from the fire, Astrid. You're trying to get frostbite, not heal it. Man, I could eat anything. Peace and love. Take care, Rav. Enjoy. I love Rob, he's a stand-up guy, very funny. Yeah, Brad, Violacious, Tess, all these folks. Favorite season? <laughs> Caleb, are you writing a report on me? <laughs> You're very curious. Uh, I don't know, I guess autumn. I like autumn. I work outside and in the summer it's too hot for me to be like having a good time. And then winter it's like, it's not bad but Autumn's lovely. I love the uh, autumnal vibes. It's one of my favorite words. Having uh, like the color change and then crisp mornings. Uh, I love it. Spring's all right too. I like flowers and you know stuff like that. Summer though, no, can do without it. Does it get very humid? No, it's uh, it's very wet. Like we get summers where it's, you know, 25 to 28 at the hottest, and then maybe we get a heat wave where it's 30, 31, but it's very dry. And uh, then in the wet season, which is pre pretty much everything other than summer, it's just always raining. And then you get spots of sun here or there. Are we like not brewing frostbite anymore? Is it like too warm? What? My frostbite isn't getting risky because it's only minus one probably. No! I might have to pick another base. Kind of confused. Take off some clothes, yeah. And then we'll drink a tea, maybe.
All right, that worked. Did I say I hate being cold? Because I really do. We're figuring this out. This, there we go. We got it. Yes. <laughs> Frostbitten. We are the Frostbitten one. GG Astrid. Made me proud. Enter our base. Hey, hey Miller, it's good to see you. Welcome in. Yeah, we got a good challenge here. This is a good one, I think, folks. I think we're gonna... Oh, I dropped all my sweaters. Oops. Astrid. Oh, and we dropped our good mittens. Oh, gosh. We're screwing this up. Still no hacksaw. What is the deal? We have a hammer, but no hacksaw, so we're gonna have to go lurk around Pleasant Valley for it. Did you find the bear coat? Yeah, we did. Check it out, Bigfoot. We got it. There was speculation whether or not it was still in the game. But this is a straight up interloper file. Just a basic vanilla interloper. And we got the bear coat on day zero. Hey, Silent Rain, yeah, new challenge. It's a doozy. Brace yourselves. It's not pretty. It's not gonna be pretty. And it sucks. We got the best RNG possible with the early bear anymore. coat, and we're gonna trash this file with frostbites. <laughs> We've already got three. Yeah, so it's still there. I think um, that's my third time in approximately 22 trips. So... <sighs> I don't quite know what that works out to, but like, it's rare. It's like a 1 in 10 or less shot, maybe. More data is required. Alright, let's just get this fire going and then we'll set up our base. We'll drop off uh, some foodstuffs, some water, some fuel, matches. Is there a set number of liters of water, pieces of firewood? Um, basically... Come on, little fire. Come on. It's gonna get more and more as I go, but it's like enough to start a fire. So a couple matches, a torch, uh, some wood, some accelerant, some water. So here, we'll do that right now. We'll uh, pull a torch from here. And then this one will be my sacrifice torch. Drop. Twelve matches off here. A liter. Oh, a liter of water. Food. We're gonna drop some peaches. Uh, we'll drop a tea as well. A bandage. And then some firewood. Oh, tinder. Of course, you gotta drop tinder. Especially right now, because we don't have fire start five. Enough fuel to make a couple, uh, couple liters of water and cook some food, basically. That's where we're at. Alright, let's loot it. Uh, also, I think I, I get a guaranteed... Wow, four pots. I get a guaranteed um, can opener here. So we should find that and then open all these cans. And it's not in the kitchen, it's in the dining room usually. We'll take it. 69. Let's go. Jeez. Nice. Captain Silty getting the crew together. You know he wants the team. Heist it up. Get in on it. <laughs> nice. This challenge seems chaotic. Yeah, it's kind of like a fun throwaway challenge. It shouldn't take too long, uh, but it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting. Acquiring frostbites, and it's gonna get harder as we go, which is usually the opposite. Like usually challenges are tough at the start, and then by the end you kind of get into the groove. Whereas this one, I think we're just gonna be... We're gonna be struggling. Big game. 
You know what? I gotta I gotta go get a torch because I can't see anything. I'm trying to find this can opener that I apparently claimed is guaranteed. Maybe I am mistaken. No can opener. Uh, what route? So we started in Ash, and uh, that's actually not a bad place for us. So we went Ash, Timberwolf, Pleasant, then we're gonna go Mystery Lake, Forlorn. And then from Forlorn, I'm hoping to have the bow. And if we have the bow, we'll probably uh, go to Broken, and then Milton, Hushed, Bleak as the route. Okay, am I blind? Is there no... Is there no can opener? Maybe, uh, maybe I was wrong. Oh, right, yeah, we gotta go there too. But after, I gotta do that. I don't know. I don't know my route. I haven't thought about it. <laughs> but yeah, we gotta go there too, obviously. But I wanna forage, and I'll probably forage with the muskeg. There is an option, though. Like, I could... Okay, here's the plan. Let's go to the Riken. Why not? Let's go to the Riken to forage. And then we'll work our way out. I think I can use so, this. I think ours are... Yeah, ours is 1% better. Did we win the heist? You did the Millers, you made it. Not everyone did though. Some people drowned or got gassed and are hanging out with Davy Jones. But have no fear, you made it at least. So we could go to Desolation, that way it's pleasant and then it's like coastal, desolate and that's paid for. And then we move on through the rest. Could work. Either way, we still don't even have a hacksaw. So we got a ways to go before we can comfortably talk about our future. First heist ever! Nice work! Yeah, you can't win them all, Duke. <laughs> but GG. Well done, Millers. Hear my water boiling downstairs. I'll take Ooh, it. Nice. All right, let's loot the bedroom later. I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. Ah, uh, shoot! Hold on, let me think. I think we should do some teas, right? We didn't find the can opener though. I'm kind of embarrassed. Smashy smashy. At least I can act up and help people though. <laughs> yeah. Hey hey Maria, good to see you. You're forgetting to announce those heists. I know, sometimes I don't see them. I'm sorry. I'm really focused. <laughs> I'll try. I'll try. I didn't even see who, who started it. Oh, it was, uh, yeah, I don't even know. 12 matches is a lot to leave behind. What? Come on, look at this. We're on day, day run, day four. And we've got, look at how many matches we have. We have a Fire Striker, Maglins, and I can't even count that high, that many matches. We're fine, we're fine. Enjoy your lurk, Maria. Oh, for the lurkers, I'm sorry. I'll do it next time, or I'll try to at least. Okay, I think we do need a little torches, a few torches here. Can 
no lantern yet either. So we need the bed roll, we need the lantern. We got a lot of stuff to organize before we leave here. And we are heavy. We need to shed a bit of weight. Well, that we can actually sit here and tear up into scrap metal. When Astrid goes camping, it's intense. From, yeah, 70. Can you describe the goat down in the ravine, not by the rope? Um, basically, okay, so you are heading out of the ravine towards coastal, and then you know how there's like the bridge that's not the trestle? If you cross that bridge, turn right, and you'll see uh, a rock face. Just head along the rock face, and you'll go a ways, and eventually you'll see a snow slope, and you can just head down the slope. You gotta kind of aim left towards Bleak Inlet though, and eventually you pop down, like at the ice, and you walk towards the ravine basin, but you hit the transition and it sends you to Bleak Inlet, and then go back to ravine. Um, I wish I had a clip for you. Basically, um, I did it not too long ago. And I know Perfect Trip's done it too. It might be highlighted on Perfect Trip's channel, uh, Brad. You might want to check there, because he has a highlight of it, I think. Don't think I have that one? Okay. Right, let's, uh, let's think about this. We got a couple chores to do first before we go to sleep. This stuff will come in handy. Harvest, yeah. Let's do this. Scrap metal. Landside and the signal fire. Hmm. There's a pun there. Oh, it's there? Oh, no. <sighs> what else can we do? Get some more free cloth. Alright folks, I warn you, um, I'm getting my groceries delivered tonight, so unfortunately I won't be able to stream as long as I hoped. Because I gotta get that, uh, that delivery. It's kinda exciting, but I don't have to go grocery shopping this week because they're delivering. <laughs> I'm kinda nervous, but excited. Should be fun. Very bougie, but it's gonna be awesome. It saves me a lot of headaches. Yay, delivery! I know, I'm, I'm, uh, I've ascended. I know, Tess, I know. <laughs> Not too good. Honestly, it's time. It takes me like four hours to do grocery shopping. And that's a headache. I don't want to waste my precious valuable time. I only have so much of that. Alright, let's get a good night's sleep and then we're gonna go... I guess I'll go to the barn next. And that's where we'll hopefully find Hacksaw. Ketchup chips? Yeah, we like ketchup chips here in Canada. Also maple syrup. That was a nice uh, Winter's Embrace event they had where we did we did the hunting for syrup. It's pretty cool. Three frostbites. Let's go. Oh, right, we gotta search this place. That's her base. Look at look at this. Some, some food, some water, some fuel. It's perfect. Perfect. Took me 15 minutes. Yeah, no, it's just like um, traffic. I gotta drive about half an hour to get to the grocery store. It's a super giant warehouse. It's not a grocery store. And then there's always a lineup outside and you're out in line for maybe 15 minutes to half an hour and then you're inside shopping and then you're in the line for the payout and it's like, it adds up. Then I gotta drive home, I gotta unload. It's a headache. Yeah, it's a Costco. It's a Costco. Okay, I'm guesstimating. I also took, I also go to Bulk Barn, and I also go to another random grocery store to get veggies. So it's like a whole, it's a whole ordeal. And two, I'm doing three, three weeks of grocery shopping in one shot.
Oh, there you go. That's awesome. Um, I'm going to share this, Maria. So Brad, calling Brad Hud. Let's watch this together. Because this is a great uh, goat. Great goat. Courtesy of Perfect Trip. Just let me... Uh... Oop. Right, sit tight folks this is uh for everyone but mostly brad who was uh questioning currently have well fed and our health is at five this five is not health. it's not we have a hundred percent health there we go Sorry, folks. I can't. I can't do ads. Okay, you, Brad, you're gonna have to click that link yourself. I don't know why it does that. What the heck? <laughs> I guess it's because I'm not logged in. Cause yeah, I'm subscribed to PT, so I shouldn't get ads. Sorry. Oh, not like this. I know. I can't stand ads. <laughs> Tomba, I am on Brave browser uh, on everything, but this laptop. Yeah, this laptop is like my garbage thing. My mom does my Costco shopping since I don't have a card. What? Uh, only ever need paper towels and green cheese. Yeah, no, I get all sorts of junk at Costco. Cheers, thank you for the hydrate. Yeah, I gotta get that, those basic attention tokens, Samba. Of course. Alright, we're going for the barn. We're looking for the hacksaw. We're still hoping for some uh, maples and her saplings get that going but yeah so far so good no frills what's no frills i don't know that one yeah maria got points because you dug up the clip oh nice i didn't know that hey yen why are you crying are you okay or are you laugh crying? I don't understand. <sighs> laugh crying, okay, because Took did a funny? What did Took do? <laughs> I'm out of the loop. Oh, the ad, yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, alright, alright. But Yen, welcome, how's it going? Happy, happy weekend to you. Is it on Discord? Yen, you, you're getting like me confused here. Like, what are you talking about? What did you do? That's amazing. <laughs> I'm so out of the loop. You're making me feel like I'm missing something. I replied to his message. It literally just shows me. It says Tuke. I'm crying. Hey everyone, haha. -ha. That's all it says. <laughs> I have no idea. No idea. Is it good? <laughs> Gosh. You folks. You folks are something else. Got it. Oh, GG. lucky day. It's our lucky day. You need to hover. Uh, I'm on. I'm on OBS, folks. I don't. I don't do Twitch while I'm streaming. Like I'm. Like that's why it sucks. Cause like, say a new streamer pops in. When I click the link, I'm not logged into wherever it takes me. Cause I'm just not on Twitch. I'm on OBS. I'm doing the uh, OBS thing. So that's how the chat comes through. Silty, no worries. Just say, uh, say hi, all. That's my move. This will come in handy. Ooh, holy smokes! Take them. I don't normally wear these, but they're pretty, pretty good condition. Archery, nice. 
not sure I can carry much more. Was it not? Did we go in the truck? I can't remember. We must not have. RNG City. Yeah. Well, like I said, we got the bear code, so obviously the RNG is going to be ridiculous on this one. Okay, I'm, I gotta double check. Maybe I wasn't paying attention. Oh, it is here! Dang. I missed that. Okay, now we gotta get uh, the bed roll, I think, is the next move. Let's go in here and tear this up. And that way we'll have a few more scraps. Yeah, Caleb. Honestly, I don't. I don't understand what you're doing with the with the questions like that. Let's just play video games. <laughs> I don't. Uh, I'm not comfortable, Caleb. I'm not comfortable. It's making me uncomfortable. Just being honest. All right, let's get out of here. We're now going for the bed roll. <laughs> Maria, no worries. It's okay, Caleb. It's just a lot. It's like, uh, just a lot. That's all. No worries. Yeah, no, I am. I am mysterious, folks. You should know that by now. You can't, you can't give everyone all the details. You gotta, you gotta dose it out in little, little increments. I'm always uncomfortable these days, folks. You have no idea. Stick around long enough and you can learn all my inner secrets. Well, maybe. It's 4 a.m.? Oh my goodness, late night. Well, Maria, I hope the weekend goes well for you. <laughs> that's right, dude, that's right. That's right. Is there a key? Get out here? Am I locked in? Oh, there is a hole in the fence. Good. I'll be a pain in the butt. Late night? No, early morning. You're right. Hey, Sir Loyan, good to see ya. Alright, take care, Caleb. I hope your uh, I hope your report or your news article goes well. <laughs> but no hard feelings. It's just um, yeah, just got a little uncomfortable. All fenced in. No, there's a there's a hole in the fence at least. Hey, thanks for showing Sir Loin out. Lastly, in it's long dark. I saw Sir Loin. You're doing um, a keto run, or is that is that the last one you were up to? But either way, Sir Loin, welcome in. Good to see you. Sterling plays TLD and does some fun challenges as well, folks. That would have been rude, being all fenced in, but you weren't. Yeah. Now we're good, we're good. I think they all are like that, like where you would naturally go to cross the fence, there's a, there's a broken down part to it. Keto run again, going to Mountaineer's Hut to bidding on Summit or Ash? Well, <laughs> if you have the bed roll then I guess um, you got options, but for me... I love those crampons. They're so good. I guess too though, personally, I'll go I'll go up the summit first just so I have more supplies going into Ash Canyon. Like if you don't have the ravine flare pistol, why not summit? Summit and get the uh, the pistol that's there. And then you got all this good loot that you can take with you into Ash, and then you're that much more prepared. Let's go. <laughs> he 
Yeah, well, it's a no-brainer. You gotta, you gotta go to Ash. You know, get that uh, tech backpack. It's amazing. Crampons are good too, but the tech backpack and also there's like combat pants. I think they're guaranteed to be there somewhere. Stem. It's a good spot. Also, Sterling, I don't know if you notice, we got a bear coat in Ash Canyon. We also have combat boots. Like, this is ridiculous. Our setup is so silly right now. About the goat in the ravine, do you then have to go to- Yeah, you do. You do. And get this, the first time I did that, I didn't really realize it. I kind of screwed myself, honestly. So you have to go then into Bleak, and then deploy the rope to get to lower Bleak, and then you exit to the Muskeg. So it's kind of a desperate, desperate plan. Uh, if you don't have the pistol, yeah, do the summit, do the summit, get all the loot, and then go clear Ash, and you'll have, uh, you'll have a bit more gear to help you out. Because Ash is not, like, it's okay, but it's a little brutal, especially with the wolves and stuff. It's one of those regions where it's better to be prepared, if you can. on now. Here we go. Finally. Now we just need some maples too. We'll be set. I'm scared of bleak. You only do this if you're desperate. Yeah. I guess uh, it wouldn't really make sense for saving energy since it's such a far walk. It's so cold. I just want to lay down for a bit. Okay, okay. I think, I think we will forge in the Riken. Why not? Why not? Yeah, Bleak Inlet's kind of dicey. Especially if you're going from the top and it's like an early game situation, but... If you have a bow and uh, a few blue flares, it's not so bad. Oh, look at this. Hold on. Hold on. Check it out. Maglens. Let's go. Come on, little fire. I uh, played so long without the Maglens that I kind of forgot that you're supposed to use it when it's sunny. So, sunny day, let's go. One kilo even. Nice. It's not so bad. I'll just leave that, I think. Let's run up here. Anything right about now. Perfect. Do you have to get frostbite for every region, except for one, because there's 11 regions, so yeah, every region. So far we've gotten three, Ash, Timberwolf, Pleasant. So each region we need to establish one base, but before we enter that base for the first time, we actually... That guy who drank his own pee doesn't seem so crazy right now. Oh, we have to get a frostbite. <laughs> so not ideal, but should be, should be fun. Alright, hopefully we get the bed roll. Did it. Nice. Alright, I'm happy. That work that will work nicely. Tomba. <laughs> Come on now. 
Uh, I don't know, honestly. Um, I've been to a few places. That's just a tough question. Hope nobody needs this anymore. All right, let's get an hour. I've never been to Poland, and uh, I have a friend from Poland, Yen, and they really don't have great things to say about it. <laughs> All right, folks, we're getting a save point, and uh, my groceries are due to show up, so I'm gonna go make myself available. And uh, yeah, Iceland, I've never been. I've heard it's nice though, but pricey. I've been to Australia and I did have a good time. <laughs> but thank you everyone for joining me tonight. I had a great, a great time with this challenge and I'm looking forward to it. Uh, we're gonna get back into it tomorrow and try to get that forage, get that bow and carry on, carry on through. Oh, you know what? Um, our good friend Perfect Trip is trying out some Subnautica below zero. I'm I'm kind of want to see what's going on, but not enough to be spoiled by it. So let's go over and check that out. Feel free to join me. Otherwise, don't worry about it. We'll see you tomorrow. I'm back. We're going to do more the Frostbitten challenge. My favorite jam? Um, I don't know. My aunt makes a really nice blackberry jam and jalapeno jelly. But I couldn't answer you. Too much pressure. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. You're awesome. Love you all. Appreciate you coming by. Fridays are always weird. I feel like they're extra, extra weird. And uh, I hope uh, I hope we put on a halfway decent show for you. And this challenge will carry it on tomorrow. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Tomba, William, Mel, Rox, Duke, Yen, Summer, Duke, Duke and Duke and Brad and Helga. Everyone, I know I'm missing a million names. Silty, thanks all the lurkers. Appreciate you all. All the new folks who are checking out the channel for the first time. Hit the follow button. Come on back. We're here every day. See you tomorrow. Bye.